Hey, good morning, my friends. Good to see you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. What is it? Today is Wednesday, December 22nd. We're getting increasingly close to the holidays right now. So let's talk really quickly about our schedule. Because I've had people wondering what the holiday stuff is going to be. So today, Minecraft. Or back into our Dwarven Kingdom. Tomorrow, or Minecraft. Surprise, surprise. Friday is going to be Christmas Eve. And for that, I thought we'd do a really cozy day of checking out the new content for Hard Space Shipbreaker. This is actually really cute. They had new ships that they were teasing. And for the teaser, all throughout December, they had like an advent calendar of the art. And they revealed more and more of it every day, which I thought was actually like a really cozy and really cute way to do the whole thing. And then I'm going to be taking uh, Saturday and Sunday off. Saturday, of course, is Christmas Day. Sunday is Boxing Day. And then on Monday, Monday the 27th, I have to check my back end. We might actually have a little, uh, a little bit of a sponsored thingy on that particular day, which is very cool. <laughs> I literally only discovered right now right now as i was going live i was like i should check my notifications and stuff and i i don't want to say too much right now but i think monday the day we come back i'm going to be doing some hashtag sponsored content expires on the 27th expires on the 27th that's bad that means I need to do it before the 27th. See, this is why we check things. Maybe Friday, we do a mixture of two things. Maybe Friday, I have to do the sponsored thingy. <clears throat> Ooh! No, no, I'll, I'll, I'll. <laughs> I shouldn't do this live. I shouldn't try and figure out my schedule literally while I'm sitting here because then I'm gonna overpromise stuff, but welcome everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. What up? I'm super glad you're here. Good morning, Brooke. Good morning, Snuggle Foxes. Morning, Kits, Keeb, Ghost Valve. Ooh, Revenant! With the 30 months of support, two and a half years of supporting one of the most positive people I have the pleasure of meeting. Thank you, friend. The kind word. Oh, right. I should also post it on the schedule. Great call, Keeb. Good morning, video game voyeur. Good morning, Joe. Good morning, Compunic. Good morning, Alma. Good morning, Derdrongo. Good morning, a very lurking three cats in a trench coat and Akira Lang. What's up, everybody? Um, yeah, let me let me actually update the Twitch schedule, which apparently some of y'all check as well, which I think is a good call. So how's everybody doing today? What's up and what's new with all of you? Um, settings, nope. Content, nope. Where do I put this? Is it under settings? Channel, yes. Good morning, Dark Cyril. You're having a cozy day, friend. All right, Friday. Let's just go ahead and put in hard space shipbreaker. Yeah, that goes there. Uh, Saturday, we're going to go ahead and skip. Sunday, we're going to go ahead and skip. That means if I look at the schedule. Negative COVID test? Well, I'm glad to hear that, friend. God, how stressful would that be? Where do I even see a schedule? Hi, I'm looking at my own Twitch page. And I'm trying to see where my schedule would be. If I was you... Where, <laughs> where is it? It's also kind of weird because I'm like, I'm looking at myself in a slight delay here. Aha! I'm a genius. There we go. There we go. So, here's the holiday schedule. Minecraft. Now. Tomorrow. Minecraft. Friday, we're going to do some hard space shipbreakers. Saturday and Sunday, days off. It's all been updated. It's all been updated. Click your name and then the schedule. Awesome. Thank you. Keithulu cards. Thank you very much for that sub baby of support. I really do appreciate that. All right. Enough of this. Enough of just my face. Let me give you video games.
Looks like you're buying your own apartment. Congratulations, Broke Just Bones. That's fantastic. Yeah, so I also updated the schedule in Discord as well. So if you were curious what we're going to be doing over the weekend, hopefully all the info is there. I might end up doing, I don't know, the sponsorship that I accepted might have a shorter window than I thought. So we might have a, uh, I don't know, a cozy something we add somewhere else. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Anyways, welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back. Welcome to these blocks that are despawning. Welcome. Oh, BT dubs. I've been having just an absolute blast just hanging out off stream, letting pickaxe go burr and trying to get as much netherrack as possible. I can't remember what number I had last time we talked about this, but I'm up to 60,000 uh, netherrack mined now. And also, I don't know if you saw mine o'clock, but we're doing a big old dig. So I'm at 40,000 blocks of smooth stone removed now. It's a lot. Hello, pig. And then because we were doing so much digging, I, <laughs> I ended up making two more picks. So we have the original Silky, Silky 2 and Silky 3 Tokyo Drift. I mean, is this joke still funny? I don't know. It makes me smile. Any hints on how to find slimes in-game? Uh, so there's a 10% chance that any chunk in a Minecraft world can be a slime chunk. Uh, also, if you go to a swamp at night, you can find slimes. However, like the actual art of finding a slime chunk, I just use a, a biome finder. It makes you laugh, it's still funny. Okay, thank you. So yeah, I just do like chunk base or something like that because it's it's difficult. Yeah, it, like unless you want to go underground, mine out a huge area and sort of like trial and error it, it's really difficult to find out where slimes are. You don't have to mine out the whole thing. So slimes will only spawn under Y equals 40. So what you can do instead is you can go down and just mine out a bunch of uh, like a three high layer. How are we doing here? We're up to 11. I've got this terrible idea that I might decorate with netherite blocks, which is a terrible idea. So I'm... Uh, <laughs> I <laughs> so I've been collecting this off camera. Oh, maybe we could collect it on camera. I have a great idea. So... In our 1.17 world, we actually did this really fun experiment where we used an entire shulker box full of an entire shulker box full of TNT, and we wanted to see how much ancient debris we could get. We did it over a bunch of streams, so we didn't just do it, you know, all at once. But I found it absolutely fascinating. I think I kept the screenshot from before as well, so we could even We'd even have like other data or a different like data sample that we could compare to. We found an absolutely massive pillar cave directly beneath your base. You're building your own kingdom. That's awesome. Give me a second here. I'm repairing up my picks. Maybe I should double wield. I'm going to dual wield picks here. So good morning, everybody. How are you doing? What's up? What's new? What's happening? What's something very exciting that's going on in your life right now? What's up, Orso? Glad you're here, friend. Hey, Jessica, thank you so much for 500 bits. I really appreciate that. You're all caught up with the Icarus Vads. I hope I hope you enjoyed the Icarus Vods. It's been a really fun game. Uh, 
<laughs> Joe from the other room. It's just like, ah, somebody who's watching on Twitch. <laughs> Keep it going. You're loving it right on. So we're not going to be playing it this weekend because Joe Kim is busy with holiday stuff. But there's a very good chance the weekend after that. We, uh, we jump back in again. My first jeweler's bench just got set up and it's a game changer for my little business. Oh, that's awesome. Taking your kid to their first ballet. Oh my goodness. What a wonderful, exciting weekend. My stepson got his license the other day and we added him to our insurance. It's only going up by like $70. Cool. Automarine, thank you so much for 13 months. Something very exciting in my life due to reasons. My partner is going to arrive at my place on Sunday. Oh my goodness. Yay. Create a crossing the streams? We'll see. We'll see. I don't do well with too much chaos. And it can be it can be very exciting and very fun to play with a bunch of people, but it's also also sometimes it's just a lot. By the way, speaking of crossing the streams, if you haven't seen it yet, we did just an absolutely ridiculous crossing the streams from Minecraft on Monday at the Lenny Ready Run channel. It is not family friendly. <laughs> Some people cussed a whole bunch, but man, it was funny. <laughs> what a good time that was. That two by two stream was the hardest you've laughed in years. Yeah, which is what absolute chaos that was. All right, give me one quick second here. Um, booth, minimize. Yes, I did keep it. Aha, chat. So, last season, <laughs> this is my photo, by the way. This is the photo I took. So, last season, we did an entire shulker box of TNT blast mining. And every time we did that, we put the everything collected by one stack in its place. So, the most amount of ancient debris we ever got from one stack of TNT was 13. And the least amount we ever got was zero. I wonder what it'll change this time. And I think it only took us, we did typically like four or five stacks per stream. Jimothy is going to live on in your heart. I thought the, I thought the sheep's name or the cow's name was Jimothy. Oh, hang out or so. So there's like two things. It's like, this is a super chill place and you're welcome to hang out. The other thing that's difficult when it comes to issues regarding mental health is a reminder that I am a clown. I'm an entertainer. I am in no way qualified to give medical advice. All I can say to you is you're welcome to hang out here and have a good time, but this isn't the place to try and fix those sorts of things, you know? Definitely have a good time. Much like you'd put a show on in the background to try and entertain you. Think about more positive stuff, we can do that. My dearest Jojo, I'm here to purchase all of your TNT. All right, one... Oh my god. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. So Joe is filling me an entire shulker box with TNT, but it's one diamond for 16. So... Uh, I might get a bundled price here. So what is 27 times 4? 108. I can afford 108 diamonds, Joe. All right, where are you, my Joe? Oh my God. Okay, Joe is actively trying to fill our order right now. I think she underestimated how much work, how much work an entire shulker box full of TNT might be. All right, let's check our let's check our store here. Ooh, more sales. Actually, uh, do I need to restock this anytime soon? We're getting a little low on fortune. Did I just straight up not sell Sweeping Edge? That's awkward. It's a lot of TNT. All right, protection is good. These books are fine. <laughs> Running low on feather falling. Actually, I should make a note of this so that next time we're in this area. Oh, right, our Kanban board is done. Nice. 
All right, uh, book restocking. So we need uh, fortune, we need feather falling. What else are we doing here? I mean, more mending, I guess. Shame no bed, blast and beyond. Well, we might be done with beds. We might be done with beds. It might just be like actual TNT. I we guess we could do a warm up if we really wanted to. But typically when you're doing TNT stuff, because we're going to be removing so many blocks, I thought we could just, um, I thought we could just go out to like a brand new fresh area, work there and get out. Uno was complaining about the lack of sweeping edge. Yeah, you know what? Let's add sweeping edge to one of these chests too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, maybe I'll add it with looting. We'll do like a looting slash sweeping edge thing here. How much longer do you need, my love? All right, Joe says she's crafting it now. Well, here, let's give her a second. Yeah, and we've got we got the diamonds. We can afford this. I'm telling you, chat. Joe is going to be the wealthiest person on this server. So, so yeah, let's, uh, let's restock our bookshop and we'll add sweeping edge. Oh, geez. Somebody added safety walls around the lava because we kept walking into it. <laughs> So I don't know when we're going to do this, but I am committed. I'm absolutely committed to doing a giant redstone farm at one of the nether strongholds. I really want a wither skeleton slash coal farm, and I think it'd be really cool. I think it'd be really, really cool. Wait, I go this way. Give me a second. I need some extra shulker boxes. So I need four shulker boxes. If wealth is correlated to loveliness... Thinks Joe's got that covered. It's very sweet of you. What a beautiful tent. Thank you. Have you not seen our starter base? So our starter base is this cozy little island. We moved in with a tent and we built ourselves a little house. And we added like a little tower and blacksmith behind it. And then we actually made uh, custom trees for the whole island. Yeah, the tent is where we started. Ah, I flew into a tree. Oh God. <laughs> yeah, and then other little project. We were, we're getting a good amount of stuff done, which I like. Was it 1.16 where you did the ender ender on mine o'clock? I'm looking for that design. If you're looking for sort of the best ender ender design, look up uh, Nembomb. Uh, spelt, uh, I think it's like that. I don't know if it's Nembomb or Nembomb, but they are, they're the best. They just, oh, I have so much log. And I need emeralds. Okay, let's just buy some more. Did you see that Nembong got hired by Minecraft? I did. I did. And actually, one of my favorite parts of that keep was um, apparently one of the first things he did when he got into the company was close a bug that he filed himself like years ago. Someone buying my glass? There we go. It was just a picture of like a Jira ticket that was opened by Nembomb, closed by Nembomb. <laughs> it's like, how was nobody fixed this? And it got hired and then was like, all right, I'll fix this. I'll fix this. Okay, so books that we needed were Fortune. Wait, first off, let's smash all these, uh, all these books. You should have fixed it, put on sunglasses, and quit. 
My work here is done. <laughs> but you didn't do anything. Hold on. All right. Fortune. Oh, what? Didn't double cure fortune? So expensive. So I don't need a full, full amount for all of these. Just a little bit. Uh, silk Touch is on our list. Wait, why'd I get so many more Silk Touch than Fortune? Time out. Hold on. What? <laughs> oh, my limited... I'm too emerald poor? This has never happened to me before. Silk touch, we got fortune. I need feather falling and mending. Okay, mending. Feather falling is back into the right here. What? What? Oh, hi, Joe. My god, is this a special delivery? Okay, alright, so we're one, two, three, four, five, six, seven short. That's fine. So hold on a second here. Um I'm about to get really poor chat. Hold on. I'm just gonna do this for now. Actually, no 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 no. You know what I need to do? Six or seven. Jeez. <laughs> Jessica, thank you very, very much for a thousand biddies. That's so generous. All right, there we go. So, you'll, uh, you'll go ahead and take a little peek there, Joe, in the second box. Thank you very much. Oh, I'm sorry. So, Jojo, the thousand bits that just came in are actually for you. How are we doing for wealth here? Is Joe a chicken? Yes. Oh, she's doing a little, little bit dance. I'll treat you to a nice coffee after this, sweetie. Thank you very much for your business there, my love. And chocolate? Okay. So here's what we'll do. We'll deliberately leave these emeralds in here, and we'll eventually get a little bit more TNT, and we'll fill in those slots. Hello? You ringing some type of celebration bell on your way out, my love? All right. Uh, Joe was singing the song of her people as she walked out. Got it. All right, I need more books. I need more books, like literal books. Too expensive. You should go get some delicious coffee. What up, Koo? I agree. You should go get yourself some more delicious coffee. Anyways, where were we? Uh, I think we got mending done? Or did I get distracted before that? I can't tell. Yo, the Evermist! Thank you so much for a thousand bits! These are for a nice cookie to go with the coffee? Joe, you're getting really treated here. Oh, right, 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 of course. Feather falling was too expensive. That's why we walked back. That's why I got distracted. We got, uh, we got a care package from a friend yesterday. They love doing holiday baking. So we're gonna maybe wait a little on all the baked goods. <laughs> all right, and hold on, that sweeping edge for 13. I never actually needed to, there we go. No, that's sweeping edge too. Uh, yeah, this was the gift we got from a friend. Look at this. 
We got snickerdoodles. We got some type of almond cookie. We've got lemon bars. We got brownies. We got hooked up. <laughs> we got hooked up. But uh, I'll, I promise I'll treat, I'll treat Joe to something nice. It's very generous of you, friends. Thank you very much. Do I have a cheaper sweeping edge? Do I unlock it twice? I have cheaper sharpness. I have sharpness five like 17 times noted. Okay. Oh, I got to have poutine with James yesterday. With James and Ashley. It was lovely. It was almost too cold to sit outside and enjoy it. But we, <laughs> we still had it anyways. And realized I hadn't had poutine since uh, James and I actually had poutine together at Desert Bus. There's always room for cookies and milk. Yeah, that's fair. Or cookies and coffee. Yeah. Okay. Wait. What? The, what is going on here? Oh, did I buy? <laughs> uh, did anybody notice that I bought Curse of Vanishing for some reason? Why did I buy Curse of Vanishing books? I'm just throwing away value. Oh man. Seen that camera switch? My arm go out the frame? Don't you know I have the planeswalker thing where I can go borderless variety craft? It's one of my favorite goofs. The camera frame is just a suggestion. Alright, I need I need to replenish emeralds. You can make budget gear with that? That's really funny. I am hurting for emeralds. I only have three entire beacons of emeralds at this point. Do you know that? Three! And look in my chest. Look in my chest. If I had to make another beacon right now, I would be 13 blocks short. Isn't that embarrassing? Only three, I know, right? Actually, hold on. Apparently, there's a new Chivo for trade 10,000 village uh, diamonds. I guess it's hidden, maybe? Somebody's saying there's a new Chivo for um, trade 10,000 emeralds, and I don't see it yet. Oh, right. We should probably get that Chivo now that we have the new song. Anyways, I digress. Did you know that you can make beacons with overlapping ones? Yep. Oh, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Nether stars? No, nether stars aren't even that difficult either. Yo, welcome. Welcome finally to about the end game. We're in like, we're in the real end game now. No smoke fire. People keep telling me there's a Chivo for getting 10,000 emeralds from trading. And I don't know if that's true or not. I mean, I've got to have one. Maybe I already have 10,000 emeralds. I, de <laughs> I definitely have 10,000 emeralds, chat. Maybe that's not all from trading. I don't know, because maybe sometimes it's from, like, making a block and breaking a block or whatever. But we have handled 13,000 emeralds so far, so... Can't hurt me. I'm already gone. Oh, do I have... Ow. I do. I'm a genius. Okay, good. All right, what is this? This is the sweeping edge. You think I was getting bamboozled by that that uh, trade chivo? You don't think it's real? You think people would lie to me? Imagine if gas could shoot through portals. I mean, we keep finding gas on the other side of the portal. I don't know what to tell you there. Uh, all right, fortune.
Bending. Bending seems to be a big one that keeps going. Alright, sweeping edge, I'm gonna put in here with looting. I think that I think that makes sense. Does that make sense to anyone else? Because typically if you want one, you want the other, right? have restocked. All right, you ready for some highly explosive science Twitch chat? Are you ready to learn? Hey, Doc Awesome, thank you so much for 41 months. All right, so first off, we need to find... Perfect. We need to find a brand new area, untouched. By what people are doing so far. So let's fly this way. Which way are we flying? West? It's new. This looks good. This looks good. This looks promising. Do I have flame on my bow? Sure don't. Do I have a flint and steel in my ender chest? <laughs> Otherwise, we're going to have to come back. I think I do? Yes, I do. Awesome. Okay. Actually, wait a second here. Put this extra wither skull in here, too. Is there any other type of science? That's a great question. All right, one time, no lava. What did I just say? Maybe just one lava? Oh, one lava is okay, okay. Just finished writing a mystery shopping report on a huge bowling arcade fun complex. Took an entire two-level former Sears in a mall. Yo, really? How was the whole mystery shopper gig? All right. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to make a super long straight line. Super long straight line. And then we're going to branch off it in a couple of different directions. No, don't tell me I'm in this biome. Crap. Maybe I'm not. This biome is bad because this biome is blast resistant. Ow, buckets. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm just going to pretend it's not here. As long as we don't enter into... No! The ba no! No! <laughs> Alright, whatever. We have enough room here to do, like, two of these. As long as we head away from the biome. Bad. Let me make it a little bit easier for y'all to see. There we go. Thank you, Optify. Actually, hold on a second here. This is... 49. Hey, what's the perfect spacing for TNT? I think it's every three blocks. So if we have 64, 64 times three, let's go 200. 
So let's go all the way to 250. Depends on the companies you work for. This one only does amusement parks. Oops, crap. Buckets. God, what have I done? I forgot that I got rid of the torch in my... I got rid of the block in my offhand for a torch. Do arcades, amusement parks, and they pay well, so it's great. I get to go on places I could never afford on my own. And my kid has a blast. Oh my god! That's amazing! I kind of like low-key love that. Wait, hold on. Rory Kenshin is getting a revival, or is Rory Kensington a different thing that I don't know about? Did you know they made a bunch of movies for that? I think Joe and I watched two of them on Netflix, and there might be even more than two. I don't know. That really, that really surprised me. Not expect a live-action adaptation. So once we get to 250, we're almost there. Oh, I'm not wearing my, oh my goodness. <laughs> Another 500 bits from Jessica, thank you so much. These are science biddies, eh? Um, You know what, let's put on our proper science outfit here. I almost forgot. Wouldn't be proper science if we didn't have our PPE, right? Oh, wait, hold on. Made another mistake here. All right, TNT time. There's our stack. Go ahead and put that back. I don't have any fire resist potions, which I honestly could have purchased. And the new plan here is we're going to go every three blocks. Right? That should be close enough. Previously, we did every other, and I think that was too much. I think we could space it out to every three blocks, or maybe maybe two block gap between it. Any TNT aficionados in chat? Good morning, Lirazel. Let's go two gap, so let's do this. The problem is I don't want to spend forever counting. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's so many bits you've given me so far today. Thank you so much, friend. Appreciate the generosity. If I do this, I don't have to go quite as far either. No, you know what? I'm just going to be okay with the fact that every now and then I'm going to miss one. Just going to be okay with that. You're just going to have to be okay with that too, chat. Hello? Rude. Alright, real quick. What are your guesses? How much do you think we're going to find? We don't do channel betting or anything here. I'm mostly just curious as to what your thoughts are. So, with a range of 0 to 13, give me your guesses. You're going to guess 5, 9, 4, 13. You think this is... Oh! I think we're going to get a record here. All right. Let's see who's right. Science! You have to scream science before you do science. I don't make the rules. All right. Good start. There's one. Aha! 
Now, remember, always excavate around your ancient debris. There can be more hiding in places. Two, three. Okay. Yeah, no giant lava walls so far, which is very generous. I don't have flame on my bow, which is perhaps not great. Because, <laughs> well. Um, what? There we go. Science! We're gonna have more chaining issues with three? Hmm. Maybe before we continue this on the next stream, we'll keep going today. But maybe before we continue this on the next stream, we will, uh, we'll get flame on our bow so we can light it from uh, a safer distance. Oh, I see the problem here. All right, so you know what we do? You know how we fix this? Give it a support. All right, everybody who guessed under five so far, you have been eliminated. Even TNT needs support sometimes. You're right, you know. Give a little, give it a little helping hand, you know. All right, a lot of people who thought we're gonna low roll. Got a news flash for you. We didn't. space here. Ow! <laughs> you ever just light your feet on fire? You know, just for no reason? <laughs> what happens if I... <laughs> oh, we can keep going. Okay, definitely a couple issues here with the chaining. But again, I still think way faster than uh way faster than the bed blast and beyond. Are we at the end? Yes, we are. We are at the end. Okay. So, we don't count yet. We make our way back because maybe there's a sneaky block we missed on the first pass, right? So we'll take our time and we'll slowly look everywhere. See if we can't uh, get a little luckier. For whatever reason, as soon as I lit my toes on fire. Oh. Is it Dashboard Confessional? There's a song that starts off with, When there's nothing left to burn, you've got to set yourself on fire. There's got to be some other, like, 2,000 emo kids in chat who know what I'm talking about, right? Boom. Boom, 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 boom. I need someone to save me. Was that the stars? What was that? All right, well, we made it to the end, and we can lock in that experiment number one, 
five ancient debris. All right. Thinking of a Fallout song. It was the stars. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, Andersad. Stars, your ex-lover is dead. Yes, thank you. All right, how wide is an explosion? So I should go maybe about halfway down. Let's say here. Dang, it was good to see you again. Introduced by, I'm on fire. A friend of a friend. Can't remember all the words of that song. It's been a long time. Seen you before. In that instant, it started to pour. <laughs> oh, very important question. Very, very, very important question. Just as for the validity of our science here. And I know we went back and forth on this last time we did this. If I am mining a tunnel and I hit ancient debris, does that count for the ones that the TNT revealed or not? Uh, we stopped at the end of Lava Fall. It was a giant thing. All right, Kit says five means to Amelie was our winner. So it's tough because we would be provided we were one over, right? Like we we're going to detonate that whole tunnel. I don't think that access tunnel works, but I think this one makes sense that it does. to about 250 and then stopping. Uh, hello? Uh, <laughs> well then, all right, all right. It's a good thing we asked. So now we all know that these count. Oh crap, uh, it was five, it was five. One sec. We gotta keep them separated. Ah, more musical references. Somebody was kind enough to leave a little garbage disposal system for us here. Let's uh, let's actually bring back the gravel because I can use gravel for concrete later. Oh wait, sorry. And you always line around a little bit more after. All right, we're good. Well, I guess the TNT would have taken care of that. <laughs> All right, 2.50-ish. Stop. TNT time. And then, yeah, we're going to do two-ish. Get your guesses in chat. Last time was five. Let me know what you think you're going to get. There is no prize. Right. I like that people are kind of converging on high rolls here. I like it. We're counting the two? No, no, no. Each one is individual. Each one is individual. We got five on the previous one. That's just a data point. Yeah, each strip individually. Nasia with 500 bits says one. 
Thanks? <laughs> like, you gave me 500 bits, but you're also trying to curse me. So, <laughs> all in on zero, how dare you? <clears throat> and keep in mind, yeah, we already have two. We already have two. So if you guessed under two, you're just being mean. You're somehow assuming I'm going to die and lose the ones that I have, I guess. That was the point. All right. Oh, there's another one. Remember, always mine around it, right? There we go. I mean, we would have seen that one first, but sometimes they're down at a diagonal. We'll find an example, I'll prove my point, and you'll be like, ah, very good, Surge, and I'll say thank you. Well, it's even harder to destroy these ones because even if I throw ancient debris into lava, they're lava proof, right? Right, I'm not wearing an Elytra. So I would have to die. And then we would have to... Oh my god. That's some lava. I would have to die. And then not only, not only would I have to die, but we would have to not be able to make it back in time. Is this worth it? Can't tell. I <sighs> typically you should just skip lava because, like, the chances of there being anything of value underneath us is like. Basically, slim to none. Ow. Ow. <laughs> I'd like to stop being on fire, please. BT dubs, look at how well our fire protection is doing for us, right? Isn't that slick? We took like zero damage from all that. Sir, do you appear to be on fire? Nah. Lies and slanders from people just trying to make me look bad. Hot take, bucket of lava? This is nothing but lava sources. This is absurd. No, I'm not gonna be defeated by this lava. Get out of here, lava. not be doing this for every single lava source. Real talk. Because, just wait until we're done. There's not going to be anything worth it under here. That's just how it works, right? So like, let's excavate it now. This is why we don't bother. That's lava. Ow! 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 
we don't find at least four under here. How much fire protection do I have? So this is my special bed, blast, and beyond suit. So I have blast protection eight and fire protection eight. The suit was specifically designed to withstand these conditions. See? No ancient debris. And this is why from now on we will never clear lava. <laughs> Unless it's one source, that's fine. James! Hi, friends. Welcome, everybody. We're doing science. Yeah. Fenris Schaefer, thank you so much for 38 months. We're doing science. Oh, that's fire. We're doing science. So what we're doing is we have purchased, for the most part, an entire stack of TNT, an entire stack, pardon me, an entire shulker box of TNT from Joe. For the low, low price of, what was it, 128 diamonds? And Clank, thank you for 13 months. A gamer's dozen or a baker's year. Yeah, both both work. It was 108. Whatever 27 times 4 is. Well, I, the order's not done, sweetie. I've got more diamonds for you if you can get me more TNT. There we go. So we have done this previously before in the 1.17 world that we had. We got, I can't remember what the total count was. I could show you the data. So previously, we got this. So each one of these represents one stack of TNT. So the highest we ever got was 13 from a stack. The lowest we got, we got skunked once, which felt kind of bad. Uh, so, so far, we're at six, but we never count until we make it all the way back. Uh, apparently, we have pigs to fight our way through here. It's fine. Pigs can't beat our mighty bow. Oh, right. I don't have protection protection. These pigs could actually wreck us. All right. Good to know. Noted. I feel like your stream title is misleading. This is more explosive. Yeah. Look. Sometimes I have a plan, and then sometimes I get distracted by something shiny like an explosion. But I am still underground. So the underground part of my stream title is, in fact, correct. What are we trying to find out? We're trying to find out how much TNT, on average, you get when, uh, or pardon me, how much ancient debris on average you get when you use TNT. And plus side TNT, plus side, plus side ancient debris. It's like all profit. Oh, I don't have a. What is my stream title? James says I'm only 30% crack. Cozy underground build. I would argue this is both cozy and underground. I would say 66% crack, James. How dare you? Do bed stack? They do not. <laughs> Another thousand TNT bits? That's so many bits. Thank you very much, friend. I appreciate that. Which is the optimal biome for nether debris hunting? Literally any biome other than the basalt, the basalt biome. So the things that you need to watch out for are blackstone and basalt, basalt, however you pronounce it, because it is more blast resistant, which means it will be less efficient for your explodents. Oh wait, sorry, um, six. The answer, the question, of course, being how much TNT we're gonna get, the answer was six. Oh, right. 
the other part of getting raided, twitch.tv slash James underscore, ah! <laughs> that's James's, <laughs> that's James's channel, all right. <laughs> James underscore screaming noises, yeah. Have you ever thought to yourself, boy, I sure would like to watch a 30 something year old dude dig a hole for hours? Well, do I ever have a channel for you? I think this might be the end of the road for us here. Or I could not give up. Are you on team give up or not give up, chat? Has a 30 something you approve? Yeah. Slava is being very rude. Doesn't it know we have somewhere to be? You're on team gravel. Oh. Oh, but I want this gravel. You know what? That's fair. Turn left. Well, typically for our science, we only go in a straight line. Hey, Tara, thank you so much for gifting a sub to James. Ah! Oh, I'm on fire again. Ugh. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get through this. All my precious gravel. That's eh, fine. When we blow up with TNT, it'll all be back. Unless, of course, it falls into a... Uh, into lava, in which case it will never be back. Nope. This might be a bad idea. might be a bad idea, chat. How far am I? 180? You know what? This is good enough. According to the rules of science, I have determined <laughs> good enough. Now you can see with my super precise scientific measurement system here. We call this the one-ish, two-ish method. Am I excited for Minecraft 2? I don't need Minecraft 2. There's enough in Minecraft 1 I still haven't done. Oh, crap. Uh... I was so close to dead there. Oh my god. All right, chat. Get your guesses in. I'll uh, I'll blow up a little bit more TNT at the end here. A little bit more TNT at the end. God, I have zero actual protection because this is bed blast and beyond. A hard zero. Stop asking me to get skunked. That's just rude. All right, science! Remember, it's very important that you shout science when it starts. Ow! Ah, blast protection, we took zero damage.
All right, well, notably not zero. Ooh, definitely not zero. Heck yeah. Uh. What's the build today? We've been making a cozy underground like dwarven thing. Currently, we're just collecting a little bit of ancient debris for science. Sorry, for science? <laughs> Gotta shout it. Yeah. Don't forget to never stop being a gamer and look up. Yeah, that's fair. We look up on the way back. Twitch.tv slash James underscore LRR. There we go. There's the full one. For cool tunes and cool hole digging. Look no further than James. All right, I just need to kill all these pigs. Or they try and kill me first. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Speaking of gamers. All right, you ready for this? I believe this should light that TNT. Doesn't an arrow get lit on fire? Yeah! Oh my god, that actually worked. Oh my god, that actually worked. God, I'm so smart. Or I'll try again later. Didn't shout science, therefore invalid. That's her. Right, I don't have an Elytra on. Right, I'm wearing my Bed Blast and Beyond Armor. Alright, pardon me for a second. Uh, science? Yes. Nailed it. Oh. May, might not have been worth. <laughs> okay, uh, we need like four more. Or five more, pardon me. Counts! It counts! It counts! Remember? One last time, my friends. Science! Well, no, no, that was still that was still part of the five because I didn't get the full stack down. Oh yeah, yeah. It's Last proof. That's why I use TNT. TNT will destroy all the blocks around it, but will not hurt ancient debris. Neither will lava. All right, let's start making our way back. And then this is when we look up. And we activate our gamer skills or disable our gamer skills because gamers never look up. I, I don't know. I get confused. Yo, what up, Jum? Clearing our gamer debuff by looking up. I like that. Is the is it going to be for decoration? I don't know if I'm going to use ancient debris for decoration. I'm thinking of actually using highlights, and this is idiotic of actual netherite blocks and that's going to be so expensive at the very least i think our dwarven throne needs to be made out of 
Our dwarven throne needs to be made out of netherite blocks. Also, the lodestone is so pretty. Alright, let's... Let's call that five. So today, six and five and five. So 16 from three stacks. You gonna get me, child? Yes, enjoy your enjoy your little toy. Very good. In this round, Electra and Kinslayer both guessed five. Cool. Very cool. All right, thus concludes science for today. Hope you all enjoyed. How many ancient debris blocks does it take to make one netherite block? 36. <laughs> 36. You have an absurd amount of netherite on the community server and you've literally just been giving it away. How much do you have? How? All right, hold on a second. Where? Am I? What is this? Where does this connect? Dan's castle. Okay. What is this? Like, what? What is this? What? Oh, Jason. Congratulations to Amelie, Faya, Smith, Yogella, Forgotten Lizard, Galvin Duck, Keely Lionheart, Electra, and Kinslayer. You're all winners. Ooh, look at this. We haven't seen Jason's base yet. Jason's the base that we got teleported to by when that time we got kidnapped by uh <laughs> by James was to Jason's base. Jason's base also has this. This absolutely enormous underground cave and aquifer. So, I'm excited to see what Jason gets up to. Community server is great. My Wither Skelly farm is getting good rates. I'm curious what design you used, Brooke, because that is on my radar for a soon to do. Yeah, it looks like Jason also upgraded his particular branch here. Where does this connect to? Like, this is not a small amount of work, right? Oh, I see. Okay. Erica's not too far in that direction. Ow! Nope. Missed the landing. How are we doing here? Let's put some stuff away. A yeet. So, let's talk about our plan plan today. That was just our warm-up activity. Love to see it. Our plan plan is to head back into our cozy dwarven kingdom and work on our grand hall. So if you haven't been here before, make, make sure you say hello to Brimothy. Hello. And his twin brother, 
whose name I can never pronounce. <laughs> Itomurb. And we head down the staircase. And now this is the room that we're working on here. And we got into a pretty good spot yesterday. Ye Tom Herb. All right. They have rad beards. I don't know if it's a beard. I mean, it's supposed to be a dwarven area, right? I haven't put together in my mind if I see this as a beard or just texture on their armor. Is that a clean shaven person with a really cool shirt or is that a dwarf with like a long beard? Could also be chest hair. Oh my god. Beard for sure. You thought it was a tunic? Mm. That's actually really funny. Yeah, if there was a... <laughs> if there was an apostrophe after the Y, that would totally be a Final Fantasy XIV character, right? I like that. Like a good amount of people see it as beard and armor texture. It's a pretty good split there. You know what? I like canonically that both are correct. All right. So my plan for today is um, I want to do some top decorating here, and I want to do it mostly with deep slate as well. Shouldn't be too difficult to do. I can find my materials. <laughs> There we go. There we go. So let's grab some stairs. Wait, is that all cobbled wall? There's more cobbled wall. And now I need a bunch of scaffolding. Sneeze, part of me. Pardon me. Oh yeah, I got a haircut yesterday, chat. Feeling extra cute. There's my scaffolding. Uh, I have a plan. I have a plan that'll make me happy. Scaffolding to get up and down, but then dirt. <laughs> Ugh. Stupid allergies. There. Looking extra cute. Thank you, Skunky. I was way overdue for a haircut. I was getting really shaggy. Oh, wow. Beacon's only like a little bit further down. Huh. Ugh. Pardon me. You haven't had a haircut since the start of the panini? I can't go that long. I got pretty shaggy at one point. Like when everything first started in 2020, Joe gave me a haircut, which was neat. And it was totally passable if he didn't look at the back. <laughs> you now officially have long hair? Heck yeah. I only had two haircuts in the last 10 years. You must have a majestic mane. What's up, Violet Mage? Good to see you, friend. You used the you found an opportunity to learn to cut your own hair? Nice. So like the haircut Joe gave me was totally passable, except for the back. Except for the back. Like, the sides looked really great. 
But it uh, turns out people who, you know, go to school to do a thing are just better. <laughs> and the ability, especially for short hair, to sort of blend how it goes from longer on the top to the back. Turns out you can't just fake that. All right. So here's our work area. And one of the things I want to do is I think we need a little bit more depth in the ceiling. So let's just go ahead and add that right now. So question for you. Do you think the grand hall should have a darker ceiling to make it seem taller or a well-lit ceiling to give a sense of majesty? What is What is your thought for that one? Did Minecraft do the change with spawnable light changes? Yep, Chronicler. You can go all the way down to one now. This is active. It's definitely active. Imposing grandeur seems more dwarven. That's sort of what I'm thinking. Can I go down this? There we go. Because, like, let me show you what a darker roof looks like. So this, for example, has a darker roof. And I kind of love it. Because it makes the whole room feel so big, right? It would also add consistency. Well, I mean, the foyer and the grand hall can be different. Use the dark brick. Well, I don't know. Well, I mean, in this case, it's gray. You know, you don't have to use a darker block if you just want lighting to take care of it for you. Oh, I never actually added brick to that. That's so funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're putting a shield there. There's already a plan. I just haven't designed it. Ah, all right. So, let's come up with a wrap pattern first, and we'll decide what we want to do after that. Can I just do something really straightforward like that? Yeah, yeah, good, good. No, oh, it's too boxy. It's not, it's too boxy. It doesn't give the nice rounded feeling that I wanted. No. What do you think of that? <clears throat> Is there going to be a feasting hall? Oh, there's going to be a feasting hall. Aquarium? Probably not an aquarium. No plans for an aqu aquarium yet. Planning out my mega base. I'm going to need so much basalt. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you often think a mega base, the hard work is just the, um, the base part, not the... And you're like, wait, no, it's actually the collecting. The building is that. The left looks better. I'm... Pretty certain. Oh, I, I forgot a stair. Thank you. They were supposed to be symmetrical. Oh, yeah, that looks great. <laughs> it 
<laughs> they were supposed to be the same. I just, uh, I got distracted. <clears throat> so do you think this works? Do you think we do these wraps? I think it's kind of cool. And then, I don't know if you can picture it, but you see the arches and it wraps around that way? I think this is going to look really cool. Yeah, that's going to look so good. Now, if you do the slab higher, it just looks weird. We tried that in other places as well. Because if the slab is just in the floor, then why do you have the stone there, right? Because with that, with a little bit of added depth of having it come down, it actually looks like it's supporting it instead of being a part of it. wall more often it's great especially they changed it recently i think it was um 1.16 or 1.17 they made it so that wall just plays better with stuff like you can attach wall and glass together now maybe either way it works great all right so now now we have all of this right here which we can theoretically leave dark or Maybe that's fine. Final question. I don't know if I should leave this stone or if I should make it um, another supporting block. Like this could maybe be deep slate brick the whole way. Oh, actually, maybe it could be a cha-cha? That's an interesting idea. be a great eye doctor one or two one or two all right three or four What about deep slate tile? I haven't been using it yet. I didn't want to break in a new block. What do you think, chat? <clears throat> it looks like stone. Well, that's kind of the point. I love the texture of this, and I think it looks really great in a lot of stone heavy builds. So for example, we've got we've got the achacha surrounding the door, right? Jessica with another thousand bits. That's so many biddies. Oh my god. You've been so generous the past couple days. A thousand eye doctor bits? Dang. Alright, most people like the stairs. My plan on using ceiling embellishments. What does that mean? Yeah, the stairs are just like pretty classic rounding.
My worry with the stair instead of a solid block is actually like even just the stone look great. If we make it too flat, it loses that rounding shape. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Could copper accents work? One of the things I really want to do is make sure the, 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 the roof feels round still. Maybe the occasional stair bracer? That's an interesting idea. Ooh. Hold up. Hold up. Part of me beacon. That's an interesting idea. Pardon me. What do you think of that? Keep in mind, we'd be seeing it from so far down, right? There's no point of like too much fine detail. You prefer the stairs. Stairs under the wall. I'm worried about getting too much. I wonder if I can make it so that it... Um... I don't know if I can get it to wrap. Copper stairs? I think the copper would just be too bright. I work two jobs. This helps me relax and somewhat pain it backward to all the creators whose stuff I watched over the years when I had no money. That's so thoughtful. Thank you, friend. Glad the content helps. Maybe a three-wide wall brace with a, uh, a lantern in the center. I'm worried about light up here. I think I want it to be dark. All right, well, there's only one way to tell, for real, right? And that's to do this. Okay, so that's really dark. That's really, really dark. Interesting. But, gotta say, I think I'm a fan of that. I think that looks rad, right? As opposed to just stone or just trim. I think that's a really fun detail. Now, there was one other suggestion, which was kind of sweet. I definitely don't see that. That might just be a you thing. <laughs> Inlay the wall? I mean, again, I want this to look like it's a support, right? But yeah, we could always add more detail. Now, give me a second. There's a suggestion. What if we added light? So, let's add light and let's see what people think. Alright, so we're going to do this now. Let's 
way easier if I do the middle block first. Okay, noted. Do I have any chains down here? Alright, I've got four chains to my name, sure. Ow. <laughs> Tried to dive a little too aggressively too fast there. Holy moly! What? That is a significant donation. Holy crap. Can we get some hearts, friends? $133 dono and 57 cents. I imagine there's a currency exchange somewhere there. From QA and I, Merry Christmas to Joe and you. Thank you so much, friend. Wow. That is tremendously generous. Thank you, thank you. I wonder how many, <laughs> how many cookies and tea or cookies and coffee that gets Joe and I. All right, real quick. Let's, let's pull all this out now. People wanted to see what it looked like with a light source, right? All right. Oh, interesting. That actually looks super cool. Oh, maybe we do add some light up there, chat. What do you think? That looks rad. I'm gonna have to make more chains. Yes on the lights. All right, light or no light? I think it looks good. I think it adds a lot of detail. And I think I do like the contrast color of the achacha up there. Light also lets you see the subtle texture of the wood. Yeah. Absolutely with the light. Yeah, okay. All right. All right, chat. You win. You win. I was all like, I'm going to make it dark. And chat was all like, you should add some lights. And it turns out lights was the correct answer. Should have never doubted you. You don't know if you like the chains? I think I, I think I like the chains. Are you on team chain or no chain, chat? Can we put in soul fire? We've been using orange. So it, soul fire could be interesting. The issue is when you talk about a palette, you want to be fairly consistent in it. And we're not using blue anywhere, right? Our palette right now is orange gray and shades of black so putting in a blue light although it could be atmospheric really changes the vibe of the whole place right and for example a lot of the fire we're using or light we're using rather is i mean we have used chains already once we're using lava we have a couple of sconces and we have these these fire gates so suddenly switching it changes it i have no idea what you want by a timer there's a timer that shows how live I've been lied. I've been live, but also jump the uh, you know the mods are trying to answer your question for you too. But yeah, this is a live broadcast. There's a good chance what you're looking at is how long I've been live for. Or this, the in-game time. I mean, Minecraft has a night-day cycle, right? There, it's gone. All right, let's make a couple more chains real quick.
So we have, ah, whatever, I'll just make like a stack of chains. That was not a stack of chains. Oh, chains are mega expensive. Holy moly. How is that thing down there? It's a... You add it to a server, natural. It is called a vanilla tweak. Ow. Ow. All the fall damage noises. Yeah, it's fine. All damage noises just happen. All right, so I need to be at this height if I want to use those lanterns. Can I? No, I have to do this in two passes. All right, pass one is going to be... Pass one is going to be uh, just be like logs and stuff. So let's just make it three wide. One more chain, you want them to hang lower? We can test it. The lower it hangs, the darker it'll be. Wait, I was one lower before? Let's do that again. It's going to be a little time consuming to fix all of this because I have to place all of this to work on the first layer and then drop it a second time. But whatever. It is what it is. Hey, how are we going to decorate this room? I think I want to make the floor an interesting pattern. I really like the consistency of having one... Like the andesite and deep slate going the length of the whole way, but I think the floor needs to be prettier in this room, too. Pardon me. like a bunch of tables armor stands not again decorate it with flowers interesting not where my brain would have gone lodestones and diamond blocks we're not even at the vault yet you're already trying to spend all of my diamonds all right So we want one to do that, right? And there should be two in between. Perfect. All right, then we do stair, stair, stair. Are we locked into using stone everywhere, or would you object to a, a wooden floor in here? What do you think about that? Because we could do, there's like very pretty patterns of floor that you can do with um, like stripped wood and stuff. What's my opinion of Eidolon of Blossoms? And did you know that Seb McKinnon did an art version of it? Big fan of Idol. Oh, God, that word is hard to pronounce. Idolin. You like wood floors? Wood floor doesn't seem very dwarven. Hardwood floor doesn't seem very dwarven. Yeah, but it's so pretty. I mean, I guess, I guess there are a lot of stone textures and polished stone textures I could do. I could theoretically, I could theoretically just do 
get out of my comfort zone. The problem is, um, wait, wood floor feels totally dwarven. Interesting. Wood floor seems very expensive for dwarves. Oh man, they're very wealthy. They're very wealthy. Woodwork is extremely dwarven because elves live in trees, just to spite it. Because remember, we are creating our own lore here of who these dwarves are. Ah, oh, there is no polished obsidian now. So one thing I love about wood that you don't get in stone is the direction of the blocks, right? The first time we see Flint, Fire, Forge, and Dragon Lance, he's whittling wood. Interesting. Dwarves are master craftspeople. They could do woodworking as well. Heck yeah. Deep Slate tiles a direction, but not, not the same as wood. You know what I mean? Oh, Basalt is directional. Oh. Oh. That's interesting. All right, step number one is done. Mola Molafid with a brand new prime. Thank you so much, friend. I really appreciate that. Mushroom floor. So I think an important thing to remember in Minecraft as well is don't fixate too much on what the block is and just accept how it looks when blended in together. Oh my goodness, I love this roof so much. And by that I mean, like, even if it's dirt and you put it in a wall, if it works well with a gradient, it's totally fine. Sora, thank you for 100 hydration biddies. Cheers, friend. Yeah, like just because a block is mushroom or wool. I mean, I made I made a giant lighthouse out of concrete powder, wool, and I can't even remember what the third block was. And as long as that as as long as that um that color palette scans from afar, you've basically crushed it. All right. So we have a very quick little science we have to do here, my friends. Just a very quick little science. Are you on team one or two? I think that hangs down too far. I think two is too low, but what do you think? One or two? Yeah, most people are on team one. Two if they were centered, interesting. You actually like the two. Science! <laughs> Heavily depend on how low the roof becomes. The roof isn't changing. I might round that corner. Because uh, I think it's a little square right now. There's more shadow with two. All right, so look up with one. Look up with two. Oh, two does make the ceiling darker. Can we try zero? No, I definitely, I definitely want chain. I definitely want chain. All right, give me a second here. We need to, I need to round the corner now. <laughs> I have to go back and do all the scaffolding again.
a different room. Don't worry about what we have in the other room. Just focus on what looks good here. What looks good here. Hello? That'll make sense later. I assure you that'll all make sense later. Took a key from your end busting, went end busting for a few hours the past couple days, came back with enough gear for Christmas gifts for your entire server and 30 shulkers for yourself. That's awesome. Thank you for inspiring your holiday cheer. I'm so glad to hear that, friend. All right. One. That looks so much better rounded, by the way. Or two. Oh, wow. It's so interesting because chat like rallies. It's like there's team one and now team two. I don't know if team two is on stream delay or what's going on there. It's just really interesting how it kind of comes in waves. Yeah, mods, do you want to throw together a poll for this one? You like one better now? The rounding helps it make like the shorter chain? Yeah. Let the lurkers vote! <laughs> yeah. So one chain, two chain. Yo, Chef of Death, thank you so much for that prime in 19 months. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, lovely, lovely times, regardless of your color, creed, identity, beliefs. You're all wonderful, chat. You too, Surgeon John, thank you very much. All right, vote now on your mobile devices. So chain length of one or chain length of two. Don't you 50-50 me, chat. Does this view help or do you prefer the side view better? So left is one, right is two. Oh no, don't don't you troll me on this. <laughs> or is it actually that close? I don't know, I don't know. Also, if you want to vote with your keyboard, you type slash vote one or two. That's how that works. Team two is slightly winning here. All right, team two is the winner. Alternating height for depths. If I had more chains, I'd agree. But if there's, so the issue with very small patterns, the issue if you only have two things, if you alternate them, you don't get a sense of randomness. You'd get sort of a weird pattern the whole way. And so if we did up, down, down, up, up, down, you could get, you could get sort of a weird wave. Yeah, it's even. It'd be kind of weird, right? I think I, I think either one would look good, and that's totally fair. Enough space to get variation without it being a pattern, exactly. All right, give me a quick second. I'm very quickly gonna pee, and then we're gonna add light to all this. So stick around.
Hi, everybody. I'm back. Oh! I see some people have found that the item redemptions are open today. So what we got? Looks like two have been claimed so far. Key, but name is Spyglass, the Scope Creeper. Love it. And Smith is named one of the back of Elytra as the emergency parachute. Incredible. Anyways, hi friends, we're back. Let's make some lights. Let's make some lights, shall we? Hi back, I'm dead. <laughs> Thanks, Rach. Thanks. Sir, you convinced me to deal with villagers. I managed to get them over 500 blocks up a mountain and into a cave, and I only lost one. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah, folks give me a hard time for the villager stuff, which, I mean, it's a, it's a Minecraft mechanic. Like, it is what it is. But, there's only so many times that you'll have all of your villagers die and come back before you're like, no, no, the precious idiots, they're going in a box. <laughs> it's so much work to make them, to get them all in line and then to have them all die. You're like, this is brutal. I'm never doing this again. Oh, I also have to, heck, do I have enough stare on me? Probably not. Villagers are born in minecarts and will die in minecarts. Ow. I fell. I'm shocked. How could that happen? Let's make, uh, well, you know the rules. If you fall, it means your scaffolding isn't wide enough, right? <laughs> Erica lost all her villagers' lightning strikes. Exactly, right? It's like, I don't know. There are a bunch of mechanics in this game that are extremely unkind to villagers. See literally every single mob pathing any <laughs> weather and storms are just more common in 1.18 now. One of the changes they made to weather was you just get more storms, which means you get more lightning, which also means you have more chances of your villagers getting struck by lightning. Uh, let's do all of this first. Actually, hold on. Crap, I have lost my beacon. I'm gonna need that again. Storms are annoying and they freak out your dog. No! <laughs> your poor dog. So previously how it worked was every time a player slept, it would also reset the storm counter. So you just like, it just didn't rain as much on servers. And that is no longer the case. So rain is just more frequent. Storms in general are just more frequent. Because they had all these weather patterns, just players never saw them. Um, for example, if you didn't see the end of... On mine o'clock for a very long time, uh, James, Uno, and I were doing a unlock every... Unlock every Chivo run. And sometimes the amount of time it takes to wait for lightning to show up is just kind of brutal. Yeah, you can sleep the storm away, but what happened is when you slept, not only would it sleep the storm away, but it would also set the storm counter to zero. So if people consistently slept on a server over and over and over, you'd never get a storm. So now the storm timer, like storms will just happen and you can sleep them away, but they're more likely to happen at all. That makes sense? 
All right, so that's looking good. Now it's time for the chains and the lanterns. The next thing we should do while we're doing this, oh my god, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry, an anonymous friend just cheered 5,000 biddies, holy moly, there's been just an unbelievable amount of generosity today, friends, thank you so much, thank you, thank you, spoopy bits, really appreciate it, everybody. Oh, buckets. Um, actually, before I get rid of all that, I should put some texturing in the ceiling. I'm a little ahead of myself there. Can we get some hearts for whomever our, our spooky friend is? Some hearts is a big old thank you. Show some love and positivity for that. I really appreciate it. Hey, Dalrin, thank you so much for 15 months. A multiple of three, the best kind of multiple. Wait, I can't even reach the roof from here, can I? All right, never mind. We are tearing this down. We're tearing this down and we're moving it up three blocks. Got to texture our roof a little. Yes, very good. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, anonymous friend. Everyone is, well, I don't want to say everyone, a bunch of folk are being very generous because of the holidays. And I would like to remind everybody of my holiday schedule. So we've got a stream today. Uh, it's actually going to be a little bit shorter. I'm on a loading ready run stream tonight as well. I'm going to be heading into the moon base for some AFK, playing some board games with some lovely folks. And then Thursday, we're going to have our full regular scheduled Minecraft gonna hang out and do some more cozy stuff. I do want to try and switch from just cozy building to maybe a redstone farm because I think that'd be just really fun to switch it up. I really want to make a wither skeleton farm. Actually, um, oh, who was it before? I think it was Brooke. Brooke was sharing that they had a really successful wither skeleton farm. If people could um, post some designs, post some of their favorite designs, I'd love to take a look at that. So anyways, that'll be today and tomorrow. Friday, which is Christmas Eve, I want to do a cozy stream. So far, shipbreak or hard space shipbreakers on the schedule because they've actually released a whole new series of classes and that game is just so cozy. Hey, Street Rage, thank you so much for 250 biddies. What's on AFK tonight? I believe it's called Tiny Towers or Tiny Town. I don't actually know. I'm not very good at stuff. Good at words. It is Tiny Towns, yeah. Which I have played before, but I'm going to have to watch the refresher. Refresh my brain as to how that game actually works. And then Saturday and Sunday, which is Christmas Day and Boxing Day, I'm actually going to take off. I have uh, just a couple of cozy days with Joe. Which I'm sure everyone is, they're like, you know what, Serge? Good. Have a vacation, right? That's what all y'all are saying. I hope. There's also a chance maybe, I don't know, like, hop on and just say hi to people or something. Oh, don't worry. I have a no explosion guarantee for Hard Space Shipbreaker. It's super chill. Wait, where does Andesite go? Do I don't have an Andesite chest. There it is. Of course, I have an Andesite chest. Honor your time off. Thank you. But I do have, I did just accept a sponsored thing, and I might have to switch it up ever so slightly. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, more, more details will 
be coming out soon. But there might be a little bit of a little bit of holiday cheer hashtag sponsored content. This is so subtle. I don't even know how many people would notice it, but breaking up the flat gray of the stone with just a little bit of brick there. Doesn't that look so good? Is it Santa sponsoring? No, 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 it's not Santa. Before you go back down, punch a hole in the beacon. The problem with the hole in the beacon is it's here, right? Maybe I move it over one. All right, you know what? We're doing that. We're moving. I, it doesn't even work if it's over by one. Crap. Ugh. I mean, I need that beacon. Also be happy to watch us open presents. So, yes and no. The issue is presents are often so personal that, I don't know, I feel, I feel weird. That might be like a boundary I have to enforce on that one. I'm totally happy if people mail me stuff. And I'll, uh, you know, I'll open stuff that way. But, like, gifts for my parents and stuff like that, I think I think that's something that uh, that's just for Joe and I. Let's just leave that for now. I mean, this is not a permanent beacon, right? This beacon, this beacon will move eventually. Oh, I'm sure chat won't let me forget about the hole. <laughs> All right, next thing we want to do is a little bit of texturing here as well. And then that's going to tie in those uh, those bricks we put in before, right? I'm sure a lot of people were like, what is Surge doing? Once again, now that we look down, right? It's very subtle, but it adds just a little bit of texture to the wall. The beacon won't move because we're not moving beacons. It'll just be buried. I mean, you're not wrong. You like that little bit of copper just peeking out? I'm okay with that. I know it bothers some other people, but I'm I'm normally fine to just leave Oren walls. What's up, snack pack? All right, you ready to call the ceiling done? I think I'm ready to call this this particular section done. There. <laughs> what about to call the ceiling, Dave? I don't know why that got me so good. I mean, I guess, yeah, I guess technically we could also call the ceiling Dave instead of done. Yeah, all right. I'm having a big sneezy day. And I took an allergy pill too. Boo. I mean, we're going to be replacing it. I don't want to, I don't want to change anything. It is what it is. The beacon isn't permanent. You just gotta, you just gotta ignore that in your mind's eye. Just, there is no hole. <laughs> Look at this, eh? Hello, bat. I guess we are in a cave-ish. What beacon exactly? There is no beacon. Oh, I'm so happy with that roof now. 
That's looking pretty grand, right? Should we put a sign? Just ignore it. There's nothing we need to do there. There's no hole. There's no beacon. There's no problem. I feel... I feel like you're trying to make it more of a problem than it is, chat. No problem. It's gotta be chill. And before we never see it again? Well, we'll never see it again if we don't look up either. That's also not a problem. All right. So... Next question. That room isn't centered. That's not a question. It's just a statement. Is that going to bother me? No, because it's three wide and that's a ten wide gap. That's just totally fine. Walls or floor? Or ceiling? Okay, you have three options. Finish the ceiling. Decorate the walls. Decorate the floor. 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 Finish the ceiling. Lamps looking good? Thank you. Wow. Oh. Floor? Yeah. Alright, let's do the floor. <laughs> I thought I heard you say walls are floor. That doesn't even make sense. Welcome to our test creative world at BT Dubs. Which I love. Absolutely love this. You can see the different versions of our hammer. Different versions of what we tried to do to decorate walls and stuff like that. Different sconce designs, door designs. So what we're going to do now is we're going to play around with some floor designs. Because we've already got this, uh, we've already got this area here, right? We're going to come up with a design and then we're going to implement it. Did we resolve our wooden floor debate? No, not yet. We're kind of going to get to the resolution of it right now. So one thing that we also know is I think right here. Shivam, you still in chat? Did I ever write that down? Wait, I have a design for Witherskelp? No, I never did. Shivam gave me this beautiful design of... I think there were like Islamic textile patterns and they were beautiful. Like, do we go for something like this? Just go for these like beautiful repeating patterns in the floor? Because we kind of did that for our uh, teardrop base, right? It's like absolutely stunning. These sort of geometric patterns. Glazed terracotta is way too loud. It's so loud. But you can you can accomplish that with just three colors, right? So, for example, if we have uh, polished basalt, polished basalt will work really well. as a directional block, right? You can go intricate, but not visually busy, right? Like even... It's like you can do, you can do very subtle different colors. 
to make something very pretty, but it's not that, it's not even all that bright, right? Wait, do I have an example of that floor in here? I should, actually. Yeah, see? Oh, by the way, like, this is why I wanted to get into wood. And this is why I talk about how important it is for blocks to have a direction. Because, like, look at the grain textures and stuff like this. So that's a herringbone. This is a weave. Oh, my goodness. We could probably do a weave with basalt, couldn't we? Like, that's very pretty. And even just the texture of straight lines with just straight basalt floor. But this is some of the patterns that we're talking about earlier, right? Like, of just stuff like that. And that could just be one solid texture and a polished block around it. Let's try a basalt weave. Let's give it a go. So the issue is, first off, let's test it here, right? How do we border it? Don't know yet. So there's the basalt weave. Oh, interesting. You do a two by one to make it a tile? Not quite sure I understand. So we need to frame it somehow, right? So that's one potential idea. That's only using basalt and polished basalt. And I don't mind that. I don't mind that at all, actually. Let's get rid of this here really quickly. Make another little test beside it. So there's a suggestion to do a two by one. Like what do you mean by two by one? Cha cha support is an interesting idea. Yeah, I don't know what you mean by two by one, Dibor. Oh, actually, sorry, there's a there's another thing we could do if we really wanted to. Just realized this would look really pretty as well. All right, how how much how bright you want this floor to get, chat? Cuz you know what 2 by 2 means? Our third pattern here. Should 
should be one more pattern. So we could do a smaller mosaic pattern like that, which is still in the gray. Zelda Temple. You'd like that for the ceiling? Oh God. Maybe on the walls. Maybe on the walls is interesting. Honestly, having some of these embedded in the walls is kind of a cool idea. Uh, the walls are even because they are gaps of 10, which is kind of cool. Isn't there a four pattern? I have no idea. Uh, may actually, maybe there's a four pattern. There's a four by four pattern because you do this, right? So you could also do a four by four pattern. Uh, you are correct, yes. There should also be a fourth two by two, yes. There it is, which is just a circle. For the sake of making it as easy as possible to see. I mean, this is the sort of thing that you could have one of the different patterns. Nope. Nope. There we go. Nope, that's the same one. Crap! <laughs> there it is. So yeah, if we wanted to do that, these are kind of a cool idea for wall murals if we didn't want it as a floor. Now play tic-tac-toe, ugh. I love these in the walls. I just don't know what we do with the room that has a door, right? Or if we do use these. Uh, what are some other suggestions for floors? I mean, I mean, you know what we could do? God, we do this so much. But my absolute favorite, my absolute favorite, and I've used this time and time again because I love it. But maybe we mix it up with like some blackstone and stuff. Or basil, maybe. How much space do I have? Oh my god, it's three wide. Ooh, it's three wide, chat. It's a three wide for the floor. And you get to hear one of the best noises in all of Minecraft. Here, I'm gonna turn it up for you. Are you ready? Are you ready? Here we go. I just love that texture so much. So this is something we've done before is bone and quartz as a weave. It's very bright. It's very, very bright. What's up, Stizit? So maybe we don't use basalt in the floor. Maybe we mix it up with... Stuff like this instead. Which are we choosing from? We're still just in the brainstorming plan, right? Oh, 
Like, if we suddenly soften the blocks around it, the, the contrast isn't as hard. Right? So we can go for like a dark, dark floor, or we can go for a lighter floor. A lighter floor would do an interesting thing of maybe making the ceiling feel even taller because it goes from light to dark. Actually, I don't know if that's how that works. Is that how that works? I know if you go from dark to light, it gives the perception of lighter. What about the bone weave with itself like the polished basalt? Um, that, so the only reason this works is because the side of polished quartz and the side of bone have the same color, which makes it seem bigger. A bone weave just by itself, I don't think looks quite as interesting. Oh my God, yo chat, we got a butter bean. If we can get some hearts, I'd really appreciate that. So light on the floor and dark in the ceiling would shrink the room, interesting. What about basalt leaf framed by bone and quartz? I, I don't think the room's that big. Because this is one, one, three, this is even, which is interesting. So this is eight wide, 10 wide. This is 10 wide. So this is my least favorite. So let's not do a bone weave. I don't know, like exhibit A, my friends. Mushroom stem weave, interesting. It might just be really bright if we did it twice though. Oh, wait a second, hold on, hold on. God, do we mix both or is that just way too loud? Not sure if this is grand or just noise at this point. No, it's, oh, it's too much. It's too much. It's too much. Wait, all the pillars are only one wide too? And if you're walking through here. Yeah, okay. It was a cool idea. It's just too bright. It's just too visually intense. Uh, that being said, maybe we could do like one really cool big pattern in the center. Hold on. Yeah, the bone and quartz, I just don't think matches the, uh, the, the palette here. So I think you're right though. I think we did make the room one thinner, right? Like this is one instead of two now. Um, which we do have to be aware of. Everyone likes this though.
What does this give us? This gives us a 10, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 by less than 10. Just flat terracotta? No, I want textured blocks. I want textured blocks. What about a dark weave with a 2x2 two two bone weave? I think the bone is too bright. I think the bone is just way too bright. I think the bone is too bright. I mean, I was thinking of maybe doing a mosaic pattern in there, but... Maybe I have to... If I actually want to properly test this, I think I have to fix it so that I don't throw myself off, you know what I mean? Extending the Dwarven Kingdom? Yeah. I mean, if I, I know we're going to use this, so let's just throw this in the wall right now, because that's going to look really cool. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. How do I even put glazed terracotta on a wall? Is that going to be miserable? Like, how do I rotate myself to make this work? Does this it's not work? Uh, have to be from behind. God, I actually have no idea how to make that work. Okay, so if I place it that way, if I rotate it and place it this way. You have to orient yourself northeast and south and or west. Okay. That's the same as before. So if I wanted to... I had the second one right, did I? No, 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 there we go, there we go. Does that even look dwarven? I don't know if that's dwarven. It's cool though. It is cool. Wow, it's so much easier to do floor patterns. Regardless, let's uh let's focus on the floor here. 
I like that for now. Why am I struggling with this floor so much? I'm going to try Google. Minecraft dwarf floor patterns. Did you mean wood or wool? Nah, sure didn't, dog. Sure didn't. All right, give me your ideas. None of these are floors. Oh, they do like the big old arches like we have, though. All right. Okay. I'll be logging in. Thank you very much. So we went for kind of a Celtic knot looking thing. So we just went for cobble, which is kind of funny too. Maybe if we just get rid of the, the word dwarf. It's Minecraft floor patterns. <laughs> Thank you so much for 500 floor pondering bits. I appreciate that. Thank you, friend. It's very thoughtful. That's kind of neat. Just using the darker floors. I mean, we could literally just checkerboard our floor, which is kind of interesting. I wanted it to be more decorated, more decorated, but if I'm struggling this hard, maybe we just don't worry about it. Oh, that's very pretty. Oh, that's very pretty. Hold up. Hold up. Look at that. Oh, I love that. Can I do that? Oh, I, the issue is not wanting to use wood. The issue is not wanting to use wood, but I could do that with stone, couldn't I? How do I do that? Looks quite big. Our room is enormous, keep in mind. Okay, so if I wanted to make that work. Oh, I'm sorry, Chad, I've covered you. Uh, yeah. If I wanted to make that work, we would first pick, I don't know, even if it was just stone, right? Okay. And then we would take, Brain. It's like little sections of six, right? Five, six, and then we have the whole base floor is just stone still, which is fine. And we need a different contrasting block. What if it was just other basalt, other darker basalt? Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> Okay, now how do I fix this? 
Wait, it looks like they have a longer pattern and a shorter pattern to make it work. up cool paw let's just get the pattern down first and we can figure something else out after so there's a two by two in the corner there's a two by two in the corner of the i think this is just supposed to be thicker maybe that's where i went wrong Okay, so we've got that going there now. And then I just have a two by two. What am I what am I doing wrong? How am I struggling so hard here? Goodbye? Oh no, it won't let me zoom. How dare you? Just <laughs> Okay, it's all even. That's actually four across. So this is huge. So it does mean I could make it smaller. I could scale it down. Okay, okay. I just want to get this done now. I'm being stubborn. Can I post the link? Yes. Okay, clicking that made it go away. Aha! Aha! Hey, Mantafold, thank you for 17 months. Just destroyed a thing there. Okay. One, two. So the way my brain works, I just need to get this once and then it'll be a lot easier. Okay, so. Oh, there's my problem. I was off by some uncountable number chat. What are the chances, eh? There. So the question I have here is, is this actually symmetrical? Is it alternating back and forth? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's so funny. It looks, it looks to me as though they're not always, maybe it's an optical illusion. It looks as though sometimes these are shorter or longer, but it's just the same thing repeating over and over. And that's what totally threw me off. So the floor is all just one texture, which is stone. Right, and then now that we're here, wait, what, what am I doing here? How is this wrong? One, two, three, four, five, six. What have I done wrong now? They're all six long and four wide. Oh, the middle is too short. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. One, 
two, three, four, five, six. I just, as soon as it clicks in my brain, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then that would be here. Right? Those blocks could be whatever color they wanted to be. That's really interesting. It just took me half a second. It just took me half a second. My yeah, it's clicked now. I don't know. Just the way my brain works. Just the way my brain works. Yeah, we can do accent colors there if we wanted to. The question is... question is, do we like this? <laughs> uh, once again, Snurge trying to feed Ben Ben spider babushkas. Is the pattern too large to be easily seen with standing on the floor? I think that's okay, though. I think it's okay, right? I think it's okay if your, plat your pattern's kind of large. So one thing we could do if we wanted to tie it back in with other buildings, or pardon me, with other designs elsewhere, is... Right? Uh, we could do that. Uh, something else I might do as well, just because we're going down the center of our room. What if we actually changed our path? God, I actually love this. I love this a lot. And that's just a little bit of subtle light. That has a light level of seven, which means if we repeat on the pattern the whole time, the whole floor will be non-spawnable, which is really cool. All right, so what if, what if, <laughs> We just redid our entire floor with this pattern, right? And I think I like it. We could, uh, we could maybe use andesite for the floor because that's what we've been doing previously. And then we'd have to collect way more basalt, but that's also totally fine. So we get to our stairs. Originally, I was saying we would keep this pattern the whole way, but it's, I guess it's actually pretty easy for me just to do this. Right? <laughs> Just end the staircase and then make this whole room have that pattern. I don't know if it'll line up nicely with these pillars, and I don't know if we worry about that. But we could start in the very center of the room, right? Like, wait, hold on. This is even. Crap. This is even. This is odd. No! How do we modify that? How do we modify that so it actually works? Do we make it, do we make it, do we make the middle weave? Yeah, 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 yeah. Do we? Does it work if it's odd and even together or no? for 500 more pondering bits. It's an interesting facial expression. What's up, Andre? Mm. 
modify it so it's seven and five? Does that work, Tiny Genius? Have I had food? I Soon. Soon. I can't just modify it to odd. The issue is this direction is even and this direction is odd. You know what I mean? A long time no watch. It's good to see you, Andre. I hope you're well. You can build it by 6x4s. By Does that work, though? 6x4? That means I wouldn't have the even square bits. We can make 6x4 work. No, 6x4 also doesn't work because that's even by even. Just start at the door and pray. <laughs> I appreciate what you're going for. I think that's a bad idea. Just go for it and it'll look good anyways. What if the weave is traded as a base floor with a carpet on top? No, the weave, the weave still has to line up in an interesting way. The weave has to line up. It just, it just does. I don't make the rules, but I'm pretty sure every single person in this room will agree that the weave has to line up, right? Yeah, we're trying to make the floor pretty. Actually, we want to leave it all as andesite, so. What's up, Nico Spud? Look at all this andesite just lying about down here. All right, first things first. Got to remove the door. Drop that in chat for you, Andre. You know, even though it's all going to be andesite after, let's just remove it. Remember, remember. When building, first things first, get rid of all of the noise and all the distractions. Give yourself a nice, big, clean work area. What is the width and length of this room? It's a good question. It's a good question. Um, 10, 10, 10, 2, 2, 2, 2. 38 by 1, 3, 1, 4, 5, 8, 9, 10, 11, 22, 27. 38 by 27, does that sound right? We did a bunch of counting in the previous stream. Which is how we like spaced out everything. All right, Joe's just cackling about something in the other room. Yes, my love? One second. Joe is, uh, 
Joe is watching the Icarus VOD because she's getting ready to put it up on YouTube to put in timestamps. And apparently, she's gotten to the part where Joe, Kim, Kanoki, and I are getting absolutely bullied by a polar bear. And uh, laughed to the point that she cried a little bit. So that's good. That's good. I mean, after being together with her for 14 years, I'm glad I can still make her laugh. Take that one as a W. That was a really good bit. It was a lot of fun. The Icarus streams are fantastic in general. I'm glad. We'll be, we'll be doing more maybe after the holidays. I'm like, I'm like, we'll be doing more. Maybe. <laughs> after. <laughs> I'll talk to Joe. The crossing the stream in Minecraft was also great. That was a lot of fun. What about Spoopy Subnautica? Maybe next Halloween. All right. Actually, I think Keeb's suggestion is the best. Use the even six by four, even if you have a five wide strip at the door, to kind of interrupt your base value for, I think it'd be really weird. I think it would be extremely off-putting if you walked into this room and the weave was slightly off. You know what I mean? Right? Because like you're following these straight lines and then all of a sudden they just change. I think it's going to be way more off-putting than you give it credit for. So the only way this works, the only way this works is if somehow there is an odd, the door is, well, technically the door is seven wide. Uh, the pathway is five wide, the door is seven wide. The only way this works is if somehow, magically, one of our patterns adds up in such a way that we can do odd, odd, yet it repeats a number of times that it somehow ends up even. <laughs> you know what I mean? So what I could do is I could start a, a 5 by 7 I guess, at the very center. Well, no, 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 you'd want it to be, we want it to be either 5x5 five five or 7x7. Seven seven. And then just let it end awkwardly at the walls. Maybe that's also an option. I don't know, what do you think about that? We had a couple of options using Blackstone instead of Andesite. No, I definitely think I prefer... The, the, just, the grains is just so much more attractive than the brick pattern, but I'm glad we get to visualize it. Thank you. A central pattern, a central path with the weave on either side is at least symmetric. That's interesting too. I don't know. Maybe... Maybe we we make the pattern and then we end up deciding that we hate it. We want to punch a path through it anyways. That's also possible, right? That is what people do for literal actual real floor patterns. Is they just center it and then leave the walls to be regular. That's kind of funny. Do we want the same pattern distribution or something similar? I would like this. I mean, yeah, wait, hold on. A nine by five with a one block border fits? That's kind of sick, actually. All right, let's just do a seven by seven. Let's just do a seven by seven to make it work. And, oh, crap. You know what I just realized? This is all the basalt that we have. So, mining session! <laughs> You want to go, uh, let's go, let's go fill up some, uh, let's go fill up some shulkers with basalts. Yeah, and I think if we just accept that the sides aren't perfect, it'll be fine. It's really cool to know that 9 by 5 works. But let's do 7 by 7 and the reason for that is that when you walk in, it lines up with the door in a very interesting way.
What do you think? I think it's gonna look great. All right, we just have to find a basalt biome. Ah, tempor uh, temporally awry. The redstone shulker box has already been named. And also, you are our final person to claim one today. Phenomenal. Would you like to pick a different box? Literally, the only box that's been named so far is my redstone box, which has been named the toolbox. Aha, here we go. Is this where I was mining before? All right, and with that, our three name a thing redemptions have been claimed for the day. How do you actually pronounce this word? I don't know. I always feel, I always feel, regardless of how I pronounce this particular stone, that it's wrong. Pronounce Susan. Okay, perfect. Or Dave. Yeah. Grab these bone boxes, you know? Stop that. Basalt. You say basalt, but you have a southern accent. Is there any reason I'm not using a generator? Because I haven't made one. Where would I put it? I don't have blue eyes. I guess it does work well with a beacon. You can instant mine it. I did say last time we went farming or farming for the stuff, mining for the stuff that I'd probably make a generator next time, didn't I? Why in the Grand Dwarven Basalt Generator Hall? Of course, yeah. Trying to make like a natural cave shape out of this too while we go. Oh, lava above me. That's exciting. What do we need this block for? Decorations. Why well, generate it when it's free and lying about? Yeah. I mean, I think that goes back to, again, the, the classic issue with Minecraft, which is can automate everything. However, your time is limited, and so is your brain power. I don't want to make a farm. Can I make a bacon in the nether? You can. So it just needs sky access. And turns out, bedrock is actually transparent, which is kind of funny. But the only thing that can get you is netherrack or other blocks can spawn inside of it, but you can't see it or move it. You even automate love. You can automate everything. Guard your wallets. The steam winter sale is upon us. Oh, no. Oh, no. I've been pretty good recently. I haven't, I haven't been uh, too caught up in the steam winter sale. Maybe this year will change. The wonderful thing about having, like, one game to return that I, you know, bought six years ago, or however many years ago it was, playing it forever is, unlike a full-time variety streamer, <laughs> my game budget is not all that bad. someone somewhere turned down basalt as a building material just because they didn't know how to pronounce it. Yeah, that's fair. Oh. 
my love. Oh my goodness, lunch is ready. All right, what do you think, chat? Do we just log out right here? I don't mind that idea. Today's lunch, once again, Thai leftovers. I wasn't feeling like doing too much fancy last night, so we just ordered Thai in again. What do, I, what do I have here? How many stacks? I like that I super ambitiously grabbed two shulker boxes as if I was going to fill them both. Ah, you know what? What's my favorite Christmas tradition? Oh, man. So I'm terrible to ask for that. We're going to have a lunch break. I'm terrible to ask for that because I don't do a ton for holidays. That being said, my family are very big on the holidays. And I think one of my favorite things that they do is Christmas morning. I don't drink. But um, Christmas is also my mom's birthday. So Christmas morning, it starts off with, for whatever reason, my parents aggressively blasting Pavarotti to get everyone out of bed. Don't know why, that's just what they do. My mother's Italian, she gets a pass. Then, <laughs> my sister and my mom break out the uh, uh, mimosas, which is also really quite wild so then like Pavarotti's blasting and they're getting like morning drunk uh and then they make sausage rolls the sausage rolls is maybe only newer in the past you know six or seven years and then at that point I'm in a bathrobe and I'm just like oh my god this is so much to handle why So, I don't know. It's it's neat. That isn't necessarily something that I do myself, but I'm around it. Uh, okay, fine. One other unique family tradition. This is a small Italian holiday that, like, nobody celebrates, but it was very important to my nunna. Uh, it's called Santa Lucia Day, which is on uh, December the 13th. And my mother, my mom grew up, like, quite poor in the, uh, the Bronx of New York with her mother, who was a widower at the time. And all they did is they exchanged socks and underwears, like very small practical things that they would need, but they just wanted the gesture of it. So yeah, you sent, you celebrate Santa the Chi Day in Sweden. That's amazing. So yeah, on December 13th, we give each other small stockings and it's just like some chocolate and or socks and underwear. We have some pad thai and some uh, Penang curry here. Do I have seasonal traditions for any time of the year? As in, is there like a thing that I celebrate? I mean, I'm boring. I don't really celebrate stuff that often. I mean, what I'd rather do is just hang out with friends and have like nachos. That's, that's it. Santuchi is celebrated in schools in Denmark. No kidding. Alrighty. That's cool to know. Me? You try and make every single day a special celebration? Heck yeah. Fair enough, right? I should bring nachos to Boxing Day? Ooh. I don't know if nachos are open that early in the morning. Nachos is really more of an evening food. At your house every year, elves bring us PJs on Christmas Eve? That's adorable. My old hairdresser, before she moved and abandoned me, it was really funny because she'd be like, so what are you, Joe, doing for the holidays? I'm like, I don't know. Every holiday. You know, you doing anything for Valentine's Day? And I was like, no. Oh, I, 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 think, I think when I say boring, I'm just trying to deflect from the fact of like, not trying to dampen anyone else's celebration. Because I know people like to make a big deal on holidays, and that's rad. And at no point do I ever want to tell people, like, 
dampen folks' dis uh, enthusiasm. You know what I mean? Hey, what's up, Tex? Lunchtime greeting from Elle and myself. That's awesome. Hi, friend. Hope you're having a very cozy day. seem to enjoy the simple things that's that's kind of the goal i don't know like head down to a fancy cafe with a friend and have a cup of coffee done my day is made my day is complete there was a um there was a phenomenal viral post that was going around twitter of a muslim who was hanging out with a bunch of christian roommates and because of the holidays and because of COVID, they weren't traveling anywhere. So they were basically like live tweeting and learning their shot. They're, they're sharing their experience of someone who was um, experiencing Christmas for the first time. It was very funny. One of the first ones is like, all right, my first observation is Christmas is a part-time job. <laughs> it's like starting in late November, every weekend is going to be dedicated to either <laughs> decorating or shopping. Right? Every Christmas tree has two types of ornaments. Uh, keepers and filler, right? You're like, that's that's really funny. You know, the sentimental ornaments that you keep and the ones that you don't mind you get rid of every year. He's like, and I also found out that keeper ornaments are very expensive. I bought myself an everything bagel for $16, right? Just, it's... You can be cynical and you can be like, oh, this is just an engineered viral post. But on the other hand, it's, it's very sincere. It's very cute. Oh my goodness. A thousand anonymous biddies. Thank you so much, whoever you are, spooky friend. And Nalha, thank you for that prime in five months. So, I don't know. That, that made me smile. Question about the floor weave. Do both trans... I don't know if it'll work. Andre, oh, I guess you could um, asymmetrically use the floor things. I don't know if the weave works if it's not symmetrical in both directions. This is an answer to this question. Yeah, my mom's big on um, sentimental ornaments. It's like a very big deal. I don't know if she still does this. But when, when she travels, she'll try and bring back like a, a little Christmas tree ornament for it. Music's getting too loud. Slider. The menu music and the creative music is way louder than the in-game music, which is very interesting to me. That's all of your ornaments? Amazing. I'm even too quiet. You miss the old shiny glass ball and tinsel stuff? I mean, a very simple and elegant tree. That goes really well, right? Just like two very, two repeating patterns of decoration. Like mall Christmas trees, You've been enjoying the Minecraft content more and more lately. Yo, I'm glad to hear that, friend. Especially the CTS the other day. Yeah. It's not random stuff, Shiva. Your tree's covered in memories. More Icarus? We'll talk to Joe Kim after the holidays. My partner in Icarus Crime is uh, doing family stuff. That was a heck of a CTS. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Hey, Eric! What's up, Fish Gang? Thank you so much for 43 months. Speaking of Fish Gang, I am more and more considering doing another uh, Skyrim playthrough. Checking out the fishing in that. We'll see, though. We'll see. Did they add just fishing, or did they add a whole fishing skill tree? Has anybody played Skyrim since it came out?
my favorite kind of tree. Put lights on the tree, then give the kids a box of ornaments. My four-year-old decorated the majority. That's amazing. 60% of the ornaments are within reach at the bottom. That's so cute. I particularly love people who have to go the opposite way. All of their ornaments have to be up a couple of rows, so like their dog or cat can't bat them off, right? It's just a fishing mod. It's nothing spectacular. Okay. Thank you, Cal. I don't know if they went like all out with fishing or not. You wish Skyrim had more magic things? Let me introduce you to the world of mods. What's my favorite book that I read this year? I didn't read a lot of books. I read um, Gideon the Ninth. I read the first two of the three in the trilogy by Brandison Sanderson for the Metal Eaters, whatever that one was called. Uh, but for the most part, I read like 30,000 light novels. And I think my favorite that I got to this year was called Refining the Rivers and the Mountains. Mistborn, yes, thank you, Mistborn. Well, I guess I read Harrow, too. I read the second book in the Gideon Trilogy, too. I liked Gideon the Ninth. I didn't like the second book as much. As much, yeah. I had no idea what was happening in the second book. I felt lost the entire time. Metal Eaters is your favorite description for the Mistborn series ever? Thank you. I was panicking. I was like, uh, what are the, the metal eaters, you know? <laughs> Alright, I'm all done. Let me very quickly wash my hands and then uh, let's play some more video games, friends. We are back. back. Hey, Serge. Been a fan for a while and time zones locked me out of watching any lures, but I caught COVID. Oh, no. Now I have a lot of time to chill and watch live streams. I wanted to say you're amazing. I wish you a quick recovery there, friend. Glad you're here. Sanderson had a realization years after writing Mistborn. He had created Magneto, but with extra steps. That's really funny. All right, let's keep mining. So yeah, I can only go for probably another 90 minutes today. I have a stream at five and for our board game streams, uh, it's also, I have to do homework. I have to make sure that I have like a pretty good understanding of the rules and everything. Even though I've played the game before, I just want to make sure, I just have to like watch a YouTube video <laughs> and then uh, read through some of the, the rules and stuff. Pardon me. Make sure when we get to the office, it's a good show. This is what I mean with alternate weave width, says Andre. See, the problem is, I thought that's what it was originally. I thought that's what it was originally. And that messed me up because... Ah! 
I mean, I guess we can make that work. What is that? Is that five, seven, Andre? That is very pretty if we wanted to make a Chongkir one. It does work. And I guess what you do here is that's a one by two now instead of a one by one, eh? Oh crap, 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 oh crap. Ow! No! <laughs> no! All right, where was I? It's five up, four wide. Interesting. I realized, aren't you glad I, I filled that hole? Because I definitely almost jumped all the way down into that lava pit, eh? I had a half second realization that I should fill that, right? Because it was almost real bad. What is the game today? We're playing Tiny Towns. I'm not even using a tile pattern. I'm using a weave pattern. Yeah. Cool. Well, I guess it works. Thank you. Like basket weaving. That's awesome, Andre. I also know you're just good at stuff like that. Because you used to do, um, like, space measuring and visualizations professionally, right? Am I, am I remembering that correctly? Yeah. So I bet you, you can just naturally look at a space like that and be like, aha. Is a little bit of a dip, a bit of a, and haha, uh -huh, right? That's 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 how your brain works. All right. Well, now we have to ask ourselves the important question of: Do we want an asymmetric weave, one that might fit the space better, or do we just go with a symmetrical weave and let it hit the walls, and just like you're just fine with it, right? It's all about figuring out where you want the outside lines. That's the thing. Exactly. It's all about the outside lines. We could find the perfect pattern. One which, you know, connects very beautifully with the walls. Anyone feel like the we need a filter here? Yeah, something to collect all this ash would probably be great for our lungs. Stop it! Oh, please, I beg of you. Alright, revenge time. That's what you get. No bully. <clears throat> so I suppose the question is, yeah, are you on team quick and easy or are you on team uh, measure 17 times cut once? Because both are valid, right? Both are very valid. Depends on where the columns will intersect. Yeah, I think, I don't think we can worry about that too. I think the columns are just where they are, right? Measure 17 times, double check 17 times, still make a mistake. It's getting a little too real there. <laughs> Feeling very called out. Oh, that was a car crash.
Ah, the pleasures of living downtown. You investigating, Joe? Thanks, my love. Yeah. <sighs> You're on team measure and overestimate too many times. <laughs> oh, no. Alright, how are we looking here? Do a couple more layers. Where are my screenshots saved? Well, I'm glad you asked, because I have it bookmarked. What you want is you want your name app data roaming dot minecraft. Yeah, it's not in like the game folder. It's in a, it's a different one. If you Google where can I find my Minecraft shots, they'll give you a like copy pasteable version of that. Because I've had to look that up more than once. Having your Minecraft folder shortcut it is amazing. I mean, welcome to. <laughs> you can see how much I stream. When I literally have that folder shortcutted, right? All right. Uh, you know what? Let's get one and a bit more stacks. Let's just round that out. So that's going to be 57 and a full stack. Stack one, done. Oh, pardon me. I think I'm on team weave, but customized to the room. Not sure how it works for the pillars. Oh! Oh, but you did all one solid color. But yeah, that works. That works. Yeah, you switched it up a little? No, you didn't. You just made it all one a mono color. Oh, interesting. You get a little bit of a double at the end there, eh? That's very pretty. Right, and that's the issue you can see between odd in one direction and even in the other, right? Because you have that, that little extra row that you have to figure out. Fun fact, a base 5 width symmetrical weave is off by 1. No! Is it really? In which direction? Length. It's only off by one? That's so upsetting. That's literally what I was going to do. That's so upsetting. No! Uh, speaking of ah, never mind. I was perfect. Exactly 57, just as foretold. All right. Let's call that good enough. Make the room one longer, but the issue is the the ceiling supports are are lined up in a way that that doesn't work. I just kind of assumed this was the way to go. And that was wrong. Just assuming this is the way to go. Nope. These chunks are being generated for the first time. Wait. How are these chunks being generated for the first time? You lied. Here's my base right here. Home sweet home. Just embrace the eventual off by one. Every time it comes up, just ignore it. 
Hmm. You say that, but... Uh, let's just re really quickly repair our pick here. God, what do we do, chat? What do we do? What about a seven wide weave? Is a seven wide weave perfect? <laughs> oh, does that just work the way we want it to? I imagine it does. Wait, am I out of glass? Really? Huh. It's like I need a couple of emeralds to hold. Kickstart the old system. Oh, since I'm here, flames on my bow. Yeah, good call. Yes, thank you. Great reminder. You have flame? You have flame? Do you have flame? One of these has flame. There it is. Seventeen levels? I mean, whatever. Slowly reaccumulating our emerald wealth here, too. All right, all repaired up. <clears throat> and look at that. can make another beacon. I know everyone was worried, but we got there. We got there. More beacons. Yeah. We're on our way. All right. So we proved that five is bad. Let's just assume that that means that that proves a seven wide would be good. Oh, uh, do I just go for it? I think we just go for it, chat. I think we just go for it and that's okay. Not perfect, but this is my solution. Let's take, let's take a peek. <clears throat> Slimes. Oh, interesting. Oh, where did you start? Is that seven wide? Oh, but you did, uh, you did an alternating. Is that the five by seven? Cause that's five wide and that is seven wide. So hold on, you did seven. God, this is gonna break my brain though. If I try and do this, I don't know if my brain can handle that. The lava waterfalls look amazing, thank you. You started at the door. <clears throat> I would probably wanna offset that by one so that you could have the symmetrical whatchamadoodle there. So it's a 7-5 weave. It's a 7-5 weave. You started at the door. And then you have... Did it work on the opposite side there? You did a different run down the middle. Well, crap. <laughs> Hold on. No. That's not what I wanted. Another 500 floor decision bits. Thank you, Jessica. Oh, wait. Is the center just five? Or sorry, the center is seven, and then that's just five by five the whole way? <clears throat> so you can just do seven the whole way, like we had the original path. One, two, three, four. One, two, 
that just four by four? Crap, hold on, time out, time out, time out. Oh wait, that's just five. Oh, that's just five. Might work. Oh, that is four by, is it four by six? Stupid optical illusions. That's only one block. So one, two, three. Four by six. Yeah, okay, okay. So give me a second here. Hilariously, I might be putting down this path again. The path is seven wide, but I guess I could easily do something like this, right? And we just have the path go through the whole way. Right, of course. No, 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 Serpy, I think, I think that's real good. I think that's potentially real, real good, Serpy. Or Serpithius, pardon me. Laying the floor, it's happening. <laughs> Wait, I don't have enough blocks? It's impossible. So the question I have is, the question I have is, do I make both sides andesite? Probably not. I like the middle being andesite. What is the outer block? Oh god, your pattern went away. Just had to refresh. If I make it all andesite, maybe I end up having to mix it up and put in some like polished in here too. Ah, all andesite's fine. What's wrong with all andesite? Absolutely nothing, right? So, let's just do a little test here. Oops, all andesite, yeah. So, that's, oh god, terrible start, two, three, four, five, six. Right? So then if we go this way, what am I doing wrong? This is supposed to be the dark one, right? I mean, this is looking kind of cool so far. And then that would mean one dark here and one dark there. So 
So let's just get these details in for now. Then assuming... Assuming... It'd look like that. I mean, that looks kind of cool. What do you think? It's not really centered on anything, but I think it actually looks kind of amazing. <clears throat> One thing we could do if we really wanted to, if we really, really wanted to, we could try and offset this slightly, less so that it fits on the, on the side of the wall there, and more so that these white sources were more evenly distributed in the center of the room. It would make this so much easier if you would stop building prime-based number rooms. How dare you? <laughs> I shifted it. I shifted it so that it's uh, one by one. Because <clears throat> I noticed that if I moved it over by one, you could have the... Um... Yeah, I don't like how those were touching. Having them be towards the central path is nice. It's There's no guarantee, however that just because I shift it there, actually this is supposed to be that. This is supposed to be. You know, on a closer inspection, maybe I don't mind it. Ah, let's just keep going. Let's just keep going. I think this is fine. Let's see where we end up. I find it highly unlikely that we hate this floor now. No, the other you. I was like, not Oreo? I don't know. I don't know what was going on over there. <laughs> I was trying to read your name. And my brain just would not listen. Yo, what up, friend? Welcome. How you doing? Yo, CatFu. Thank you so much for that brand new Prime. I really appreciate that, friend. Ah, okay, so here's a potential issue. Here's a potential issue. Oh my goodness, Miss Todd. Just subscribed for 18 months as well. Thank you, friends. So I could shift it all by one, or do we not care? Real talk, how much do we care? Wait, wait, no, that's perfect? No. No, it's actually perfectly symmetrical. No way. Look. Look. It's actually centered. Better lucky than good? That was all skill. What do you mean better lucky than good? How dare you? That was of course deliberate. How could a person possibly luck into something that perfect? Obviously skill. Lucky Jack! Thank you very much for 18 months. Greetings from the YouTube Vodbinds. Honestly, it makes me so happy when folks say they, they watch on uh, on YouTube as well. Joe puts a tremendous amount of work in. And it's also really flattering that that people like what uh, what we do enough to watch even when I'm not live. Means a bunch. Thank you, friends. Hello, Cal. Thank you very much for that brand new tier one sub. I really appreciate it. 
All right, it took us a while, but I think this floor is coming together nicely. Really digging all the content. Thank you. All right, and we do that. I think this is coming together really nicely. So let's take a look at one side of the room. All right, uh, the next thing we do is we grab these. I might have to very quickly grow some more stuff. Thank you very much for a thousand bits, Mela. Dang, friends. Honestly, the, the generosity today has been a lot and I really, really appreciate it. So do I have any glow lichen on me down here? I think we stored it all upstairs. Ow. Long time fan of learning. Blah, 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 blah. I'm a long time fan. Oh my god, English. <laughs> all right. First try. I'm a long time fan of Lonely Ready Run and a watcher of mine o'clock. My first time catching your home stream. Well, welcome, friend. I hope you're digging the, uh, the Dwarven Kingdom here. Great base idea. It's all about 118, all about the caves. Taking advantage of them and really getting to explore it. Okay. Not that one. Heck, chat. Does anybody remember where we stored our glow lichen? Oh, it's right here. Perfect. You remember those bones we very conveniently conveniently harvested? We're gonna turn all of those bones into more glow lichen. Oh, right, I need to take the torches out of my offhand. This is another thing that I could probably make a redstone machine for. Some kind of um, observer dispenser thingy. This is probably fine. But it'd be faster if I had the bone meal in my off hand. Hmm, not particularly, no. The important thing is not having a torch in your offhand. I guess I saved myself a click there. <laughs> Remember to grow, like, and, and subscribe. Thanks, kids. <clears throat> you know what? That's got to be enough for now. Whatever. One more pass. Alright, so the goal here is to have this place be visible, but, oh, wait a second, that block is wrong. There we go. I have it be visible, but not, I don't know, I want it to be moody and atmospheric. And the answer is, oh no, this is spawnable in the corner here. Okay, so I'm going to have to do some other stuff.
too moody. <laughs> yeah. Too moody. But as far as like the center room light goes, that looks kind of great, right? We just have to add a little bit more light around the outside. I think this looks super good. Actually, I'm just realizing that that's a really good spot maybe for a lantern or something to hang to. Right? Like, look how good that looks. I don't know. Maybe we put... Um, I don't know if these are... We have a bunch of different designs, right? Obviously, we've got sconces. We've got... Whatever these things are called. Wall braziers. Inconcerted hat with the resub. Welcome back, my friend. Lantern from the ceiling doesn't work because those are slabs. So it doesn't work right there. But we've got we've got lanterns. I mean, maybe maybe we just do a uh, an upside down stair attached to it. Could be. You just saw the floor and it's gorgeous. Thank you. I'm quite pleased. I'm quite pleased. I mean, let's go ahead and just put this back. Oh, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I just realized this. Because our path is pretty dark, right? Let's do a little test here. Please tell me if this is too much or if it's too perfect. I mean, I got all this die right anyways, right, chat? Oh, is that too much? Ah, oh, that might be too much. <clears throat> That's pretty noisy. Let's try something else. What if it was every other two on the left side? That might also be too much. The other thing I could do is like every... Every like five, I could just have one in the center, right? Like, hold on. I almost like it better without the light on it, which is kind of funny. So we could also just center it, right? Glowstone? No, we're not using glowstone. We don't want to introduce a new light source yet. Or if at all possible, I'd like to keep using the same ones that we're already, we've already established. Two, three, four. So one, two, four. Right? One, two, three, four. Now it looks like a highway. <laughs> but you can see how it adds a little bit of light. Just a little bit of light, right? Back to Desert Bus Underground Edition. Oh, no. Hey, not only supervillains use lava. Just because you have lava as a backdrop doesn't mean you're a supervillain, chat. All sorts of great people had lava backdrops. Like, uh, 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 mm. <laughs> Well, mm. <laughs> I 
All right, I can't name a single non-villain. But that that's on me for being ignorant, not necessarily for not, you know, for not knowing. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Charizard. There we go. I don't know. What do you think? Love it? Hate it? Does it kind of just feel like a highway now? Feels like a highway. Kind of hate the highway. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. It was worth trying. Let's just get rid of it. I don't think we need the light there anyways. All right, let's, uh, let's start. Stop messing around with this, uh, the center road area here and let's finish the other half of this room. What say you? Two strips down the center with lava and iron bars. All right, well, slow down there, Sauron. Trying to implicate me with your lava. All right, remember chat, when I look for this later on and I get confused, it's in the cobble box, okay? Go full villain? That's impossible. I'm not a villain. Can't go full villain if I'm not even partial villain. So how did I do this? Uh, we want to mirror it. I get to do the full six there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, I did. All right, good. It's all Aqualung. It's it just apparently that's just the uh, the the theme song of Minecraft. Wait, hold on. Should have a couple of these on me. A little bit of lighting. We'll probably end up having to make this room a little bit brighter, but that's okay. Never look up the lyrics? Oh. Well, heck. That poor bat squeaked. It was so alarming. kind of weird okay okay that happens sometimes too right oh this looks oh my goodness part of me i got too excited by how good it looked and i hiccuped <laughs> let's change where our light sources are i immediately realized those look better Yeah, I think 
Obviously, more is better light-wise in this room. You really want to be able to show off its majesty, right? Can't see how majestic is something if you can't see it. That's just science. Want to make sure that was running along the back wall as well. Yeah, this is this is so great. Thank you so much for helping me figure out this pattern, chat. I'm so pleased with this. I really, really, really do appreciate your work uh, testing out different versions of this while I basically just like ran around and did other things. Oops. Are mobs going to spawn? Nope. They have changed how mob spawning works. And mob spawning happens at zero now. Or pure darkness. Instead of seven before. So you get to play with a lot more prettiness and light than we did before. One block was wrong there. You mean the, the one I got or a different one, Sage? Downloading, you're blaming me for downloading Icarus. All right, I'll take that L. You're welcome. Hope you have a good time. dark over here right of course um so i do this and then I do that and then i do this i guess yeah and then i do that right Oh my goodness, a lemon square. Thank you, my love. Yes! Chat! Chat! my love I'm pretty happy with that I'm very happy with that yeah the lighting effect on the ground right so here let me take off the torch I have to get rid of Optifine but the little bit of lighting in here I'm really happy I'm really happy Now we just need to break up the middle a little bit. <clears throat> Is it feeling a little too flat? <laughs> Do we just angle and punch right through this? No, that would ruin everything. I like that it's somewhat asymmetrical. Oh. Oh, I didn't notice that. Look, for the first pattern, it almost works perfectly. I mean, it then drink brings my attention to the fact that the second one doesn't work, but whatever. <laughs> It's feeling a bit flat. That's because the walls are still flat. I think once we add some tables and decorations. I mean, that's the tough part, right? How do you decorate these rooms? So I want the great hall. Uh, maybe I move this wall over. I want the great hall to. Hmm. 
to what? What does this room do? Nice, GG. Thank you. I think I have to make this uh, this room centered, for starters. I'm also just grabbing some extra andesite, because why not? Something to honor the kings of the past. Ooh, that's a fun idea. If you move the walls out by one, you'll get another column of glow squares on the floor. If you move the walls out by one to give us more depth. Interesting. So armor stands, no armor stands. All right, one second here. One, two, three, four. That gives us a four wide entrance into the Shrine of Kanban. Yeah, that's already better. Don't help me here. Harsh Hershey bar nailed it. Yo, thank you so much for that prime. Like nobody tell me I got this. <laughs> armor, st armor stands are fine as long as I don't put in like a hundred of them. How dare you? Okay, so I need a transition here. Also, Every time you say Kanban, I feel like I have to go back to work. My apologies. You're on vacation right now. Mm. Don't love it yet. I do like, I do think it was important to move it over. I really think it was important to move it over. I could do a small door. I could do like a smaller version of the um of this door and have it open in again. I'm just kind of winging it right now. Just go with me on this journey. I have no idea where we're going to end up, but you know, let's, let's do it together. given now this is absurd jessica with another thousand winging it bits holy moly friend that's wild hold on hold on how many do i actually need here i need eight i need eight merry christmas well, <laughs> thank you That's very, very, very generous, friend. So if I had it here, where would I put it to make it look like it's actually part of the door? 
how do I make this work? Do I have to make the door frame larger? I have to inset it. Okay, new plan. Again, we're just winging it. We're just winging it. Kind of looking like a Tory gate. Yeah, that's not quite what I wanted. How, how big is this door getting? Uh... Then, and then, so now I need right. Four. Does that scan? That took me a really long time and I kind of just wung it, winged it, did it. But that's the that's the rough idea I have. It's not centered. Crap, it's a three wide. No, no, I somehow made it asymmetrical. I guess I'll make it one wider. I have to make it one wider. But do you like the idea? Do you like the concept? I also didn't line it up with the floor. Well, that's okay. That's kind of the plan. You definitely love the concept? Okay. So we're using the stairs here again to make it feel like it locks into place, even though realistically, like, that shouldn't work. You know what I mean? Not about it sticking out. Well, it doesn't work if it sticks in. Um, and then I would need... Oh, right, it's supposed to be one longer. Yeah, you're correct. Oh, buckets. <laughs> you ever uh, accidentally make 16 of something? Vanilla the Not Occultist with a diamond bean. My goodness. Doing your yearly stats this morning and you've taken 25,000 calls as your Fisher? That's a lot. Top one's upside down. Nice catch. Well, we'll wax it after. We'll wax it after. We want to make sure we're happy first, right? It's so thick now. Well, actually, hold up.
Does it need to be taller? Is it too stubby now? How do you make bricks? You uh, cook clay. So clay turns into clay bricks and then four clay bricks turns into an actual thing there. Okay, I kind of love that. This is where we store all our really good <laughs> ideas. <laughs> and then this works as well, right? Um, yeah, the lighting still works. How dark is this hallway? Nothing can spawn in the hallway. <gasps> what if the door was the size? Well, the door can't be the size it was because th then it's not symmetrical inside of the wall. That's important to me. It's very important to me. So everything has to be even on this side. All right, let's go ahead and wax it. Oh, uh oh, I might have to go buy more wax. Really? Oh no, never mind. We good. We good. There. Kind of want the teeth to stick out further. I think it. It doesn't. I don't know if it scans better at that point, or if it's just in your way at that point. Trust my judgment, thank you. All right, let's put a sconce in there. Do I have the sconce materials anywhere? I do. Got one here. And one here. Nope. There we go. Yeah, so Shivam clay ball turns into a brick, four brick, four brick individual turns into one brick. <laughs> I love this little room. And, I don't know, I think that actually, the hallway and the walk down just makes this room even better. By the way, how are we doing here? Are we still on plan with everything? Yeah, still have the lobby shield and, of course, the mega nether farm on our to-do. And all the people who are asking about the different rooms. So we've got the totally rad door, the forge, the brewery, lava farm, the mine. Right, the lava farm, of course. Dining hall, storage room. Okay, so I love that. Love that. Now the question is... What do we do for lights here? What do we do for lights here, right? So we have a couple of different options. We can go with sconces. We can go with lanterns. I don't know if I like lanterns. We can add more of these Bernie braziers or we can just add lava. Oh, right. I guess we should have a floor transition at the door as well, right? Maybe lava works at the end there. So the problem with candles, and we tested this earlier, is the visual for the flame isn't always constantly on. You brought me coffee, my love. Thank you. Apparently it's going back and forth between absolutely pouring outside and being beautiful and sunny. Hmm. Oh, actually, actually, Barbarian raises an interesting point. We did test a big old sconce. A big old, big old sconce. Uh, remember where to go. And this is why we save everything. Remember these. Did you like these? Yes, please. Yeah. Yeah, you're down for that? 
Seen very on brand for dwarves? Okay, that's so expensive. <laughs> I'm stealing that design. Hey, I got this off the internet. This isn't a Surge original. Nothing here is a Surge original. This is all the product of all of us working together. Feels more vaulty. I think it'll work. I think it'll work. All right, so I need eight campfires, eight hoppers, and spruce. Wish we could make a thicker fence. We could put it on a wall block if we wanted it to be thicker. I kind of like the, the width of it, to be honest. All right, I have to put everything away here. Give me a second. Let me make room in my poor, embattled inventory. Not like I just spent all my diamonds on TNT. Yeah, so the last two streams, you saw me spend 100 diamonds on the other side album. And then 100 and... How much did we end up giving Joe? It wasn't the full amount, because she we sold her completely, or we bought her completely out. But hundreds of diamonds on uh, TNT as well. It was 108, because she, she didn't have enough. Cauldrons full of lava would be cool. Wait till we make our lava farm. We're going to have so much lava, Shivam. So much lava. Campfire? Campfire? Barrels. You know what dwarves love, chat? Barrels. Yeah, 1.17 in the addition of Dripstone added the ability to make uh, renewable lava sources, which is using a lava source above a stalactite will cause it to slowly drip, drip, drip lava into a cauldron below, and you can fill it. It's, it's pretty new. It's pretty new. Like, don't feel bad if you didn't know it was around. Wait, is this just all glass? Oh my god. I could be using this box. Oh my god. I need these blocks. Put all the glass in here. Campfires? Campfires. Campfires? Spruce. <laughs> Anyways, dwarves love barrels. Campfire? Ooh, another barrel. I think that's it for campfires. I don't think I have anything else up here. Which means I just have to craft more. Ooh, actually, let's leave those item frames there just in case. So campfires are coal. Sticks and logs. I probably pretty soon going to have to make or chop chop some more spruce. Oh my god, they're so expensive. Oh man, rip my everything. Okay, we got campfires, we got spruce fences. Uh, next thing we need is hoppers. 
Well, actually, hold on. What do fences need? That's right, a whole bunch of chests. I've got six. Yeah, that's fine. There we go. Let's wait for the sun to set here. Are you, are you setting? Maybe not. Okay, so I've got everything I should need to make these. Oh, right, we're gonna ever so slightly hide the smoke, correct? Ow. Still have like eight hours? Oh no. So let's add some depth. And then to make the depth more depthier. These are all technical terms, by the way, chat. Is that another beacon in the distance? Probably. Oh yeah, this one and the one outside are not the same. Uh, we do uh, this and that. So what height do you think this goes at? Maybe, maybe here? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna ballpark this. And then I'll do a different one beside it and you can tell me what your thoughts are. Higher? It's like perfectly centered right now, which is maybe not great. Or perfect. <laughs> I love chat. Higher, lower, perfect. <laughs> yeah. uh, let's try the next one on higher. There's no harm in testing, right? Always do a little peek. All right. So, on average, one person in chat must be correct. That's fair. All right. So, <laughs> uh, that would put it there. So, that means we do uh, this, that. There's no right in between. Oh my God. There's no directly in between. Cause I feel, I feel like it should be between the two and you can't, you can't put it between the two. So now that we've seen it one block higher, I definitely think the one on the lower is better. All right, well, let's drop it down one. Dig the chimney up one higher. Yeah, we could probably fake it, right?
The smoke kind of hides the fact that there's an extra block there. Well, except for the the ore there kind of shows it off. There we go. Yeah, I like that a lot. I like that a lot. I wonder if we no longer need that. That's giving off a lot of light. Possible to add a slab to hide it? I mean, it's fine. Just let this... Anything we lower will just cause the smoke to pile up, right? Maybe lower the stair one more to give it more rounding. I kind of like the lip. What do you mean to make it more centered? Do you mean hide the... Actually, give me a second. Can you say move the stair up? One sec. I don't even know if this would be visible, but... Do you like being able to see the stone behind it, or do you like it being way further up? Even more depth. Left or right? What's up, Sky? Left? Yeah, okay. Right's good. Right's good, but left is more straightforward. It's funny because technically they're flush, but just because of the color difference, it does look like it has depth. A slab between the campfire and the hopper? That wouldn't work. Uh, you can't put a you can't put a slab there. Keep in mind that everything in Minecraft exists as a solid block. So a campfire is also a solid block. It doesn't sit on a slab. Did we try the sconce lower? I don't want it lower. I think it's I think it needed to go it was either higher or not. Yeah. Would we did like black behind there? I mean, we could. The issue is and this is something that comes up in a lot of projects is with the scale of the room that we have, we will be cutting some corners from decorations or else we'll be working on it forever. Because we want to make an entire kingdom, right? We don't want to just decorate one particular room. And as such, um, with any build, you need to decide... Ooh, hello. What a sneaky little thing we found in the background here. With any build, you need to decide how much time you're willing to invest in any particular portion of it, right? Because otherwise, you can just end up working on one thing forever. And so I'm really happy if I hit, let's just say like 6 out of 10 when it comes to detail for, mo for most places. You know, we want it to look good. We want it to look real fancy. But at the end of the day, we're going to stop before we get too much into it. Like we're not going to super texturize every single wall. We want to do... It's like, what is the most effect that we can get in one place for the least amount of work? If that makes sense, the bang for your buck sort of approach. Because like with any project, our resources are limited. And in the case of Minecraft, in the case of streaming, our most important resource, our most valuable resource is our time. I'm going to have to move this chest. God, that looks so good. Well, let's just leave that for now. Let's just work around our shame chests. We'll get there later, right?
Alrighty. There's another one. Oh, I'm so happy. And like, here's another example of where decorations could work. This is, this background wall is another perfect example of something that we could make a different color as a, as a highlight color and it would really work. And that I think is much more valuable than, you know, any small detail would be like, okay, imagine now if we had like a deep red, right? Like a deep red color, uh, maybe red terracotta because it's softer than the bright red would look phenomenal, right? Like that would add so much detail. I feel kind of bad. Joe's probably going to want a thumbnail of that. And it's got all my shame chests on it, right? <laughs> I had to take a pill to go 500 years in the future of the past. I have to pick one. First question I have is, why is my doctor dabbling in time travel? Question number one. Always the future, the past is the worst. Well, here's the, here's the question with time travel in the past. Do we have to worry about any of those weird, like, time paradox things, or am I fine? Consequence free? <laughs> Wait, it's totally random where you go. Oh, I don't get to pick. I have to, I, wait, why am I taking this pill? Hold on, time out, hold on. This isn't one of those things. No, 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 no. The best way to frame those questions, and I don't want to like redo your joke. The best way to do those questions is, you know, you offer, you offer a choice, right? Like, uh, my favorite example is you get sent an envelope and in the envelope, is, a, is, I don't know, like, let's say $200, right? So every single day you get an envelope for $200 and you have to open it. But every time you open it, you get a pretty bad paper cut. Do you hit that button, right? Do you accept that you'll be somewhat magically cursed to get a, like a pretty good amount of money forever but you're also going to bleed from your fingers forever. You like your question though? <laughs> but what's the other option? It's just like, do you just randomly time travel? I mean, I guess that's kind of interesting. I'd probably just say no though. There's no incentive. I mean, the incentive is you get out of what your current situation is. It doesn't go up with inflation. It's a bad deal. Hmm. $200 buys a lot of band-aids and ointment. With super glue paper cuts heal in a week? Yes, but you're going to have seven paper cuts every week. All right, hold on, hold on. All right, the mods have asked it right now. Do you smash that buddy, that button? Yes, money and paper cuts or no? I'm curious. No, no, no. You have to open it every day. You can't, you can't think outside of it. You tax free $200, but every time you open it, you get a paper cut. Nope. It's a magic. It's a magical agreement. It's a magical agreement. You have signed a bargain with a witch. If you wear gloves, it cuts through it. There's no way around it. You will get a paper cut every single time. And it's a bad one, but it's still a paper cut. Like you're not losing a finger, but $200 a day. Uh, let's do some quick math. That's uh, six thousand dollars a month. That's seventy-three grand a year. I'm clumsy and cut myself anyways. <laughs> all right, seventy-four percent of you say yes. All right, all right. You will die of infected paper cuts. Diabetics have it worse than that. Yeah, fair enough. All right, I don't know what we do here. Okay, I think what we need to do now, I think what we need to do now is we need to do Joe a solid. <laughs> we need to move all of this stuff so that she can take a picture of our pretty wall.
Um. Um. Hello? <laughs> That's not good. My red, my toolbox. Did I leave it upstairs? There it is. What are you? A spruce box. You've cut yourself shaving every day this week? Oh no. I guess first pro tip, simply don't shave every day. That's my strategy. I shave like every five days. That's the that's the rhythm I have right now. All right, um, I need all these chests now. There. That's much prettier. Oh, I just destroyed. Oh. <laughs> My glow lichen. All right. First order of business. We move these shulker boxes. Now we're getting a proper chess monster, right, chat? Anyway, sorry to sorry to twist your question, Sky. <laughs> All right, good, good. Wait, yeah. No, I can't open that. Okay. Cobble goes there. Sure. Someone in high school had to shave twice a day? That doesn't even make sense. That's so hairy. All right, this is our dirt box. This is now, congratulations, our ore box. Uh, we're gonna put our lantern box under this lantern. Okay, very good. We'll put, you know what, let's put the cut copper in here. This will just be our ore box. Uh, I'm gonna need more for stone. Yeah, this is just all smooth stone. Beside it will be the cut ones, and this will be diorite. Uh, and a site. Perfect. Got there. Got there. Alas! Babylon! Oh, jeez. Uh, that's supposed to be and a site. Thank you very much for 20 months, my friend. Really appreciate that. Oh, that just goes like that. Okay. Cozy resub for the cozy gamer. My goodness. Thank you. Uh, yes. What is happening here? Oh, I see. All right. Put this here. Still need one polished. Grab that in a second. Gravel. Perfect. I found a new box just for gravel chat. Scaffolding can go in this box too. Our chest can go in the scaffolding box. No, it's not if you don't open it, it stops. It's if you hit that button, it happens forever. And it's 
And it's magic, so you can't stop it. That's how it works. Yeah, you have signed an agreement with the Fey, right? This isn't this isn't something you just kind of like, oh, this is kind of nice. I'll do it for a week or two and you're out. Like, no, 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 no. You have bargained with the Fey. And now, now this is your life. Oh, geez. Okay. That's a lot of inventory. What contract am I writing up? You joined late TQ, but the contract here is every single day, you have to open an envelope, a magical envelope that contains $200 of tax-free money. But every single day that you open it up, you get a brutal paper cut. And it's a magical deal, so you can't not get out of it. You can't not open it. 74% of people said they do it. It's like $73,000 a year. That was your first mistake, bargaining with the Fae. Look, they're very tempting. They're good at their job. Your local currency. Your local currency. What happens if I fly over international borders? It's a magical contract. It'll make sense. It'll work. Oh, right. Of course. Uh, perfect. Paper cut doesn't just hurt right before bed. You know, if you open it right before bed, it's still going to be a paper cut in the morning, right? You're going to get in the shower with that fresh paper cut. You'll be like, oh, that sucks. No, no, no. It's just a paper cut. It's like a really bad paper cut, though. Too many questions. Too many questions. Y'all know what a paper cut is. <laughs> Define a paper cut. <laughs> All right. Uh, so what we did... Oh, right. I have to get rid of this torch. What we did is we cleaned up this wall so that Joe has a really nice thumbnail for YouTube. This is the things I do for my love. Actually, let's clean up that patch there too because that, that doesn't look clean. That doesn't look like texturing, right? Yeah. Yeah, deep enough to bleed, not deep enough to threaten a finger. That's a good definition of paper cut. Oh, man, look how good this looks, chat. Look at how good this looks. Do you think we have time to texturize it? Should I add a little bit more brick and then we'll call that done? Do I have enough room to put a giant diamond S there? No, I don't. Okay, okay, okay. Let's, uh, let's slap some, let's texturize this, friends. Let's texturize this. Texturization begins now. TQ has written this contract before.
I still don't know if I want to come back through here and just replace all of this with, uh, with like a splash color. It might happen. It might still happen. Happy Solstice. Yeah, for all of you who are struggling in the Northern Hemisphere with the uh, the long days, or pardon me, the long nights and the short days. Good news, the days are officially getting longer again. You did it. You made it. Thank goodness. Yeah. Splash it with some moss brick? Probably not moss. Probably not moss, because that's, again, too much color for what we're doing. And it also implies moisture, where all we have is fire. Maybe if instead of, like, giant braziers, we had... Um, we had some kind of burny thing going, I'd be down, but with the lack of burnination, or pardon me, with all the fire, or if this was abandoned, if this was an abandoned one, I think I'd be more down for that too, because it gives a very different vibe. Uh, what we could do though, is we could hit it with a little bit of the old glow lichen, because uh, that's what we did upstairs, right? It's funny. I think moss is like the number one thing chat always suggests that you throw in everything. It's like the most common block. Which isn't a bad thing. It just is, it's interesting to see how how commonly requested some things are as a as a as a decoration. <laughs> right, I suppose uh, the most common feature request is the canal. Uh, I also just love like little angled ones there too. I just don't, I think it makes it join the room really well. Cass wants a mossy canal now. Yeah. Yeah, they would. I'm going to need more bricks. When, when's our canal? Look, I'm going to give you your weird Balrog bridge. Act, real talk. Real talk. Okay. Balrog bridge or canal? You get one. <laughs> Which button do you hit, chat? For our Dwarven Kingdom, you get one. Choose wisely. No, Balrog Canal is not an option. Canal under the bridge? Okay, hold on. Lava Canal. So you would forsake the Balrog. Is that what I'm hearing? All right. Twitch chat confirmed hates the Balrog. Wow. You think you know a community. It's mandatory. I don't... I gave chat the option. It looks like it's not... It looks like it's not... Okay, can we talk about how much better that looks just with a little touch of brick? Doesn't that look so good? Just a little touch, right? Just a little touch. And that one weird vibrating block. <laughs> I voted Balrog. <laughs> huh. 
I just love how much, and this is what I'm talking about, little details. Oh, Harvest, we got 100 bits for Balrog. All right, so far, winning 100% of the vote for bits. <laughs> Barbarian says, money where my mouth is, Balrog me. <laughs> oh, we got the canal bits coming in. Oh, no. Balrog bridge, you've done canals already. All right, Balrog is uh, three to one here so far. Oh, I never made uh, another thing here. That's probably fine. I don't know what I'm going to do with that wall anyways, right? I still... I guess what we're going to do tomorrow, if we don't immediately jump into um, a new build, is we're probably going to have to try and finish this corner. And I do think I want to lean more into, like, stalactites and stuff. All right. So it looks like uh, no canals for the season, chat. Community has spoken. Balrog bridge it is. Oh, no. <laughs> Thousand bits! A canal of Balrogs! Oh, man. That wasn't even one of the options. Well, I have to go pick that up again. Thank you for all the bits, friends. Is this a pay for canal stream now? It kind of always has been. I've always just been like, I'm not building a canal. And then somebody be like, here's 50 bucks. And I was like, guess I'm building a canal. <laughs> Look, I've been very transparent by the fact that I'm very willing to sell out. My prices are quite reasonable. Canal bits it is. <laughs> Thank you, friend. I don't typically I don't know. I don't set it as goals though. I don't I don't know if there's a difference for that. It's weird. This community is very good for being like, we're just gonna break surge for a second, but I'm I'm never one to be I don't know. I don't know how to phrase it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. Balrog biddies! All right, it's just like two more surfaces to go. You're going to get your Balrog, chat. You'll get your Balrog. Apparently, you're also going to get a canal. We'll see. I do really want to start working on a farm tomorrow, though. It might be, it might be a New Year canal. Do you like the copper? I know some people don't. I'm kind of a big fan of it, though. Balrog biddies, but only to balance the score. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right, with that, oh God, I'm, I've gone a little bit later than I thought. I have another stream to do tonight with that. Oh my God, look at, look at this room. So hopefully now that we're adding more depth to the back wall, uh, the floor doesn't feel quite so flat, right? Like the room should feel taller. It should feel more interesting. The walls should feel textured, make the place feel a little bit more alive. And I even don't mind that mess. That mess is kind of beautiful in its own way, right? 
So building question, is there any logic or trick in placing blocks for cron for contrast? I'm always shy when adding other blocks. Thank you for the chill stream. So one of the things that I try and do when I'm doing this, I'm trying not to have a recognizable pattern because as soon as there's a pattern to it, your brain will see it. And if you don't follow it the whole way, it'll, it'll look really off. It'll look really unnatural. Uh, so shapes that I try and avoid are blocks. Uh, and I also try and avoid um, hard corners like this. This isn't the same thing with terraforming. The other thing I try and do when I'm terraforming is I try and make it look organic. I want it to look as if there's a purpose or a plan. So like it might... It might follow like it's a crack or something like that. That a picture it has a purpose. So don't just go through and just randomly put things in spots. Instead, try and ask yourself, how does it add to it, right? Honey Banani, thank you for 200 biddies. Not Balrog or Canal related. Maybe move the beacon? Ah, oh, it'd be so much work because we're like 100 blocks under the earth. Under a mountain on both sides. This is just a temporary beacon, so don't worry. This beacon, this beacon will be gone soon enough. This is just a work in progress one. Tetris shapes but leave some of the blocks out? Yeah. Uh, there are other more advanced ones that are really neat that I didn't do here. So, for example, you could texture just the bottom of it. And actually, we did that in this room as more of a gradient, as like a different particular style. So you can see most of the texturing is at the bottom, and then it, it's a different one at the top. And that's more of a gradient effect of why is the bottom more wore down? Maybe that's where people touch it or work with it, and the top is more pristine, or vice versa, right? I don't know if we did that at all with our tower. Not in this playthrough, but we've done a gradient before. Yeah, we didn't do much in, in the way of texturing here. Yeah, but you can see we have the vines just at the bottom, but not all the way up. Similarly, you can see at the bottom of this tower, we use um, more of the cobble and more of the... That's glow lichen. But as you get to the top, it's almost all solidly the same thing. And it just gives another effect too. And it makes what you're adding look and feel more organic. I don't know. I also just think it makes it look more, more visually interesting than if it's all one solid color. That being said, there are some beautiful, beautiful builds you can make that are flat and monocolored. They look very clean. This is just a particular style that I like. Oh yeah, Green did a fantastic video just on like, here's how to gradient. Very much worth your time. I mean, most of everything I know for this, I just get from watching like the Hermits, right? There's some amazing builders out there. All right, I think I'm gonna call it there, friends. This has been a really fun day. This has been a really, really, really fun day. I appreciate so much for you hanging out. I have to end a little bit early today, though, because I have another stream to do at uh, 5 p.m. tonight. You're going to be hanging out with the fine people over at twitch.tv slash run, playing some board games. We're playing Tiny Town, and another reason I have to end early is I got to watch a how-to video, even though I've played it before, just to make sure that we get to put on a good show. I'll be back tomorrow. Tomorrow? Wait, yes, tomorrow with more Minecraft. If we're not building, I do want to jump into a farm so maybe we'll do a wither skeleton farm i don't know if we'll get it done but we'll try it oh my god jessica with another 2500 bits thank you so much friend so generous my goodness right tomorrow more minecraft i lost my train of thought friday we're gonna do hard space shipbreaker which is just a super chill space related um it's like unwrapping a gift but you're using a laser cutter and taking a ship apart and no explosions guaranteed. We'll insert a comma there if we need it. And then Saturday and Sunday are Christmas Day and Boxing Day. And I'm going to take those days off for the most part. Um, the schedule might change because I did accept a sponsored stream. So I don't know if we'll do like a half day or something. But I need to do, I need to do a, a bonus, some content, some sponsored content in there. And uh, there will be more details about that in the future. 
Now, let's go raid a friend. And that friend's going to be Cam. Oh, wait, Joe? Oh, if Joe was streaming Minecraft, I'd send it that. We haven't raided Cam in a very long time. So my friend Cameron is streaming Stellaris right now. Cameron is a delight. He's very smart. He's very funny. Uh, as a word of warning, though, he will swear from time to time. So no family-friendly guarantee, but just a very chill, very lovely human. So let's go spread some positivity. Go let somebody know they're loved. Thank you for watching, everybody, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.